Hello, hello, hello. We're doing this shit again. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good summary of the stream. Uh, chat says, the echoes have failed to ascend. Put them in your mouth. That is the goal, I believe. Um, good to see everyone here. We got the usual faces. <clears throat> There's even Toby here to remind me to check out the random ass marathon, which I guess I'll, I'll point out before we start. Yeah, it's uh, the scheduling was unfortunate, but my usual stream time today conflicts with the... Um, the RAM Discord server is having a little speedrunning tournament. Or, um, I guess, yeah, I guess you could call it a tournament. It's basically everyone is just going to compete in the, um, in the voice chat and try to get the best any percent time just in the allotted, um, 24 hours or something, or 12 hours, I think. Um, and they're going all day. And the, the, the one who gets the best time by the end of the day gets, uh, $150 crowdsourced. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But I'm going to be doing this shit. Oh yeah, apparently you have uh, iterator plushes too. I've, I've seen those. I've seen the... The fandom has dutifully set about pumping out memes. Showing the plushes rotate and shit. I don't know. Um, they're very cute. I'm kind of tempted to get like a, a blue bow plush or something. I don't really do plushes in general. Um, I kind of avoid things that I can't, like, use for something. It's it's weird to me to have a thing that just, like, sits and exists. But, uh, it's tempting, I have to admit. Especially, like, the Five Pebbles one. Just a little... little... <laughs> Pebsy sitting there. Okay, anyway. Um, we have Rain World. Let me obtain the Rain World. Rain World Go. That's not Rain World. That's Rain World. Okay. You can crochet a plush if you don't buy one. Oh, true. Yeah, you were the one pumping out those iterator, uh, the funny little dolls. Those were quite cute, yeah. It would be more, um, more valuable to have a bespoke one, no matter how nice the, uh, the official merch is. YouTube has banned you from super chatting. I'm going to assume that's just some sort of temporary server issue because I haven't changed any settings that would um, forbid that. Uh, also, speaking of super chats, $1.25 from Nofumar. Thank you very much. Um, okay, well. You said to plan to check out JD's mod. Do you plan to check out the rest of DaVinci with it? The mod got a recent update. Uh, maybe, I don't know. But after Rain, after the Saint campaign is finished, I'm going to take a break. I should mention this, actually, is that I've already decided already, as if it's particularly early. A few days ago, I spontaneously decided what the next stream game was going to be. And it's probably a surprise, because it wasn't really talked about before, but it's one called... The fuck is it called? Like, the... Time and stars, the stars and time. I don't even remember the name. Basically, someone burst into my server's general chat and was like, just kind of frothing at the mouth about this game. And I was like, oh, it's it's the next Undertale. It's Undertale level. It's it's the best game I've ever played. Um, and I looked at it, and it looks like black and white Omori. I was like, okay, um, not Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, was that Aggie? Is Aggie the same person as Agirius? I don't even know, honestly, but. That it kind of had the vibe of Agirius. Um, anyway. I, I I was inspired. I was like, okay, I'm going to take the bet. I'm just going to... I'm going to roll the dice on this being, like, literally the next Omori. Because I'm hearing so much hype about it, and it came out, like, four days ago. Um, I immediately just want to play it on stream blind. And so that's that's the plan after Rain World. Um, and I don't really know much about it beyond that. And I don't want to. That's the point, so... Have I been playing other games besides Rain World? Not really. No, I've been, I've been busy with editing and shit. I've, I just put up the devlog, which I was editing for a while, and there was other stuff that I was editing for collabs before that, and I'm going to go back to editing more shit for collabs after that for the next week. Um, and then I'm going to be doing RAM shit. Uh, it's kind of 
the, the tasks don't really stop. The Stars and Time. Yeah, it's kind of a weird title, so it's hard to remember a bit, but... The devlog was great, thank you. It is bombing completely in terms of performance, but that was also the idea of having short devlogs, is that it doesn't really matter as much if they decide to just shit the pants, but... Okay. Let's do uh, the rain worlding. In stars and time. Yeah, not even the stars and time. In stars and time. Like, what does that mean as a sentence? You can say something will happen in time, but something is in stars. In stars and time? It's not of stars and time, like it's a story about things. In stars and time. What is in both stars and time? It's just confusing. Yeah, the Hungry Ghost title is a reference to Buddhism. I thought it was funny. I think the echoes are generally... I don't know if they're supposed to be, but they're, they're reminiscent of the concept of a Hungry Ghost. It's basically someone who uh, who reincarnates wrong into a being of um, endless, unrequited, uh, I guess, sensual desire is the way to put it. Sensual sounds a bit too specifically sexual, but just like mortal desires that cannot be fulfilled, which is sort of like what the Echoes are. It's a very Buddhist kind of game. Is the audio clipping slightly? Um, no, no it's not. <laughs> it's probably just you. It's okay if you can't throw money at me, because YouTube is shitting its pants. If you did still want to throw money at me, it might be worth just trying to refresh after a while. Maybe in a, an hour or two. Uh, right, so we were just outside of, like, Pebbles' zone here. Pebbles is, like, lobotomized, can barely communicate, um, does not seem to respond to stimulus. He's just really bad, and we can't really fix him. So the only real option we have is to go and just find more echoes, I believe. That's kind of just what you do as the saint. Um, actually, how do I get out of this zone here? Is there another path to take? There probably is. I shouldn't touch that water. Yeah. Okay. Taking me a second to reacclimatize to controlling this lad. Um, I don't remember this being hard to get over, so I think I've just... I've forgotten how this character works. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Yeah, dying would have reset the dialogue I get, so, uh... Big sad, no new dialogue from Pibsy. Whoop. I want to do the roll, it's funny. Do the roll, come on. Doesn't want to roll. Come on. Hmm. I remember the movement being a lot less difficult here. <laughs> I really have lost the touch. There we go. You're gonna grind the last cane mark you need in Isaac? My voice would never be distracting. Isaac is one of my favorite games to play with something else in another tab. It requires, like, 1% of my brain to play. Um, there he is. Same dialogue. Little green thing. Yep, same. Hello. Nothing here. Nothing left. You know what, Pebbles? I don't know. I, you probably can't even, like, detect temperature because you're a robot. But as a sentimental gesture, I'm going to leave you this lantern and go kill myself probably without a lantern. 
Oh, there's the pearls, by the way. Three pearls. Um, okay. I have to escape this zone now. I'm sure I'll be fine. I don't need the lantern. I can get a new one. Okay, so I just have to leave... I guess I have to think about where the next echoes even are, right? Because I found the one in here, I found the one in Moon's place. I know there's one underneath Moon, but that sounds like a nightmare to reach. Um, I could backtrack. There's none in the outskirts, there's none in the industrial complex. And I found the one in Sky Islands, and I found the one in Drainage System. Um, and I found... Have I found four so far? I'm trying to remember now. Uh, so where else is there? Just check the region they haven't been to. Yeah, pretty much. I guess... Does Garbage Wastes have an echo? I could try there. Oh, this mouse probably isn't going to be the most useful. I want the pearls back. Can you escape the pit mouse? Like, seriously. Just go somewhere else. Where'd my cruel, cruel pearls go? There they are. Oh, pipe yard, maybe. I've heard that pipe yard is useless, but maybe it still has an echo. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Very cool. Just nothing there. Oh, this is the path I spent forever trying to get up. Even though I wasn't supposed to. So I, I think I know where this is, kind of. I just go down. The saint has moved past the need for material wealth. Now these are just pearls for Moon in case she says anything about them. Um, the spider is eating that mouse, so I think I can just walk past it probably. Ow. I'm fine. Uh, this is the Miros bird zone, I believe. Are they coming? I don't hear them. Oh. There they are. <laughs> I'm not gonna hide in the ceiling nook, because that mouse is fucked, by the way. Okay, bye. They all had to gang up and kill that one little mouse. Good for them. Turbo killed it. Ultra killed it, even. Pebbles' um, song still reminds me of Wet Hands from Minecraft, you know. The all-powerful blue lizard of death. Very scary. Very beautiful, very powerful, you know. Uh, oh, that's a path, apparently. Yeah, I forgot the... Um, the sort of in intuition for navigating this zone. It was very difficult at first, and then I kind of got used to it over time. Because it's so very visually uh, obscure. I have enough food? Oh yeah, I got plenty. I'm juiced up on the fruits. Cool. Uh, oh, it's probably not down there. I'd probably just die if I'd heard of some down there. I think it's this way. What's down below? I can hear something being eaten. That's bad. What is that? Oh, it's just the blizzard. That's the new name for blue lizards. I made it up. Tell me if you like it, chat. There we go. Home free. See, I don't need a lantern. Lanterns are for babies. Your first item was Ipecac. Poggers, don't kill yourself. You've seen Miros birds do that, but the mouse was somehow still attached to the ceiling no matter how hard the mirror burst tugs, the mouse's tail would not break. It's built different. Sturdy.
This pearl isn't quite white, so maybe it'll actually have some text on it. Who knows? It's worth a shot. They built the iterators out of lantern mouse tails. Yeah, it's like how spider silk is actually the strongest substance known to science. In this universe, it's specifically lantern mouse tails. Hopefully I have enough karma to leave, by the way. Oh yeah. They let babies leave five pebbles. Lot is by mashing space as this character. As soon as someone pointed that out, I was like, wow, okay. The power of the tongue really is not in the grapple itself, it's in the jump that you can do as soon as it touches anything. You just get like a free double jump that's bigger than a normal jump, and you can abuse that. Um, oh yeah, I can do the shoreline to subterranean connection, that's true. Um, I think I came here through Garbage Wastes, right? Does anyone remember if I actually got an Echo in Garbage Wastes? I remember getting one in Drainage, but not Garbage Wastes. Because if not, then I can go back there and grab the Echo. And I can also go to Subterranean and get an Echo there, I think. There isn't one in Wastes, okay. How much karma am I on? Uh, well, I guess I can't really check that too easily. Uh... Can you get out of the way, mice? I need to eat this sludge. Mmm, sludge. It's mouse. Okay. Uh, oh, and farm arrays. So I, I can go all the way back to the east. I mean the west. Um... Is the shelter down here? Okay, there's a... That spider could kill me. Maybe I want to use the shelter. I think there's a shelter on the right side. Oh, not down there. Subterranean 2 farm. Oh, that's an idea. Yeah, I like that idea. It's efficient. Yeah, just take a rest here to be safe. The long, goofy shelter. Requires maximal slurping to actually get to the shelter part, and even then it's slightly moist. Chat member loves my content for its polished quality. Thank you. <laughs> I do like to polish. Slightly moist. Relative to rain world, I think that's a pretty slight level of moisture. Highly moist means the rain is like crushing your skull. Alright. But yeah, the tongue lets me climb the big farmery pit. Yeah, the, uh... The Echo in Farm Arrays is, like, at the entrance to Subterranean anyway, so it's probably not too hard to reach from there. Alright. Let's go. Oh, that is the sub echo. The farmer ray's echo is elsewhere. Huh. Uh, well, I might as well take the the route anyway. Yeah, that's a funny place for the sub echo. That's pretty much right on the boundary between the farmer rays. So that's a spider. Uh, what do I do about that? Hey, spider, you want to move or some shit? What are you doing down there? Hello. I think he's busted. I'm just gonna walk past. Can they swim? I don't think they can swim, actually. That might be a good bit of info. Oh, 
farmer raise echo is in farmer raise. What do you mean? We're, we're talking about the pit at the end. That's the entrance to subterranean. That's that's the echo. I think that is in question. Is it the farmer raise echo or the subterranean echo? The one who says we were right to drill right through them. I remember the dialogue even. Oh, was someone watching this as the first campaign? Yeah, this is the uh, the ending of the whole game, basically. Or the, the ending of the DLC, rather. Um, it's, it's a bit hard to convey in what sense it'll contain spoilers, but the world kind of has a progression that you go through as the DLC goes on, so this is like the end state of everything. So, um, it is, I guess, spoilers in a sense to watch this before the survivor playthrough. Uh, where's this lead? Okay, we're here. Yeah, this is the usual... Uh, what you call it? Is that a Miros Vulture fighting a fucking... Jellyfish? Okay, that's new. You don't see that every day. I didn't think that jellyfish had much health, actually. I'm surprised it's uh, staying alive so long. Yeah, it's coughing baby versus hydrogen bomb, kinda. The jellyfish can kill you a lot more easily than a coughing baby if they want, but yeah, they're not the most threatening. Okay, don't drown. Every time I press space underwater, it's like, ah, fuck, time to die. Okay. Let's just, uh, load up on some of these bubble weeds real quick. Yummy. Can you eat, please? No? Well, oh, I'm pretty fucking cold, actually. I should get a move on here. I don't need the spear, but I do need my pearl back, and I believe it's... Well, it's not gonna show up, because it's apparently not a colored pearl, after all. Um, there we go, I got it. I hope I don't die. This, uh, the water probably is gonna chill me out. Wait, is this even the right way to go? It might not be. Uh, hang on. Quickly check. Okay, this isn't the dead end. I just misremembered. Yeah, this is the right way. That warm, insulating fur doesn't really work against ice-cold water, I guess. Goink, 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 goink. Uh-oh. I really need to get onto the, uh... Is this the right...? I think I just have to swim. Hope I don't die. I might die. I think I'm graying. It's a bad sign. It's not that much further to moon, but it's a lot of swimming. Maybe the blizzard can't affect me. Oh yeah, I'm probably dead. I'm super dead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do like a full-on speed run to get to moon without a lantern here. Where are we going again? Oh, I want to give the pearls to Moon first. And then we can go to Sub. Giving pearls to Moon is an important structural element to your path through Rain World. You have to do it. Backflip Saint. Eh? 
Yeah, it's practice for my future world record attempts. Okay, don't kill me. Sometimes if you just ask, they just don't kill you. It's nice. That was pretty clean. I'm feeling a PB coming on. That was not clean. PB is lost. Okay, going well. Actually, the, the timing of this probably doesn't matter so much until I actually get to the sauna, because that's going to refill my heat anyway. I've already gone through the sauna, never mind. So this this actually does matter. The race is on. Oh, I could have just gone through here the whole time. Then I wasted a shit ton of time then. Okay, this probably isn't actually that hard after all. I was already white by the time I got here last time. And I had to fuck around getting the pearls back too. Making good time. Yeah, someone described the Saint campaign as like it's very different depending on whether or not you have a lantern. With a lantern, it's kind of chill, but without one, it's a struggle to survive. Which is kind of nice. It's kind of cool if it's a struggle to survive sometimes. Um. I got that tip immediately to put the lantern on my stomach, which I probably wouldn't have thought of otherwise, so I feel like that's a bit of a... one of those unfair advantages. You don't warm up with a heat source? I wouldn't imagine you do. That seems to make sense. But I think I can make it to moon at least. If I just book it. I'm assuming it's faster overall to uh, be immersed in the water because I'm touching the water anyway, but I can swim much faster completely immersed. You can see I'm whitening pretty fast here, but I'm not browning yet. Remember that one time a survivor that I just accidentally drowned myself? Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, that's a problem. I forgot about these guys being in the way. Um, if the Leviathan wants to come and eat this dude really quick, that would be super convenient. Um, I can just get around him though, it's no big deal. No big deal. That's a big deal. Ah, uh, shit. That doesn't happen too often. <laughs> it's been a while since the last Leviathan kill. Sea God ate me. Alright, very productive use of the first half hour of the stream. Uh, I forgot the pearls. Can't be having that. Hello and welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Today we will be crushing this enlightened slug cup. It's very dangerous and we have to deal with it. Love the idea that a viewer sent in not just a slug cat for them to crush, but like an enlightened one. <laughs> like where did you find that? Sea gods love them green bananas. Slug cat never ripens. Or saint, rather. He just goes from an unripe green banana to a rotten brown banana. It's like direct sublimation. I 
Oh yeah, I guess I did make a crunch the rarefaction cell that one time as a prank. It was a very funny prank though. Saint really commits to the bit, or rather rivulet. If you want that content, you have to be willing to die in the blast. I think the rarefaction cell does surprisingly little damage to its surroundings for... Because that was supposed to be the sole power source of Five Pebbles, right? Like, literally the only thing that was powering him was this one rarefaction cell. Um, and someone did, like, a, a napkin calculation that to vaporize an entire river's worth of water would be something like 10 terawatts of power, which is absurd. And that thing's been going for, like, hundreds or thousands of years. So that thing, like, logically would have to contain just an absurd quantity of energy. Uh, but maybe the idea with the rarefaction cell is that it, it uses void fluid to generate energy, but itself does not contain all the energy at once, like... It's kind of like if you break a car engine, you don't immediately get the full lifetime's worth of energy that the car will use from the engine. The engine only generates energy by not being broken. That might be a way to put it. It would be pretty funny if it just had all the energy in it like a battery though, and you just... It was just a nuclear bomb. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty wacky that they specify, like, pebbles can function just with that one cell, like... That's pretty extreme. Because that does imply, like... We, we walked through that room that had the cell in it, and it was just like lightning bolts coming out, and it was like, that is the full power of the iterator being extracted here. <laughs> And we didn't die from just being exposed to, like, a space near that. Literally in the terawatt range. It's pretty fucking wacky. But whatever. Okay, no sea god. Is that ripple coming from a jellyfish? No, that is a leviathan. Uh, fuck. Okay, I can't really dawdle for too long here. Otherwise I drown. Or I freeze to death, rather. I have to wait for it to go below the water again. There we go. I think I'm... Where am I? Oh, 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 okay. Yep, it's working. I think I'm good. Uh, please, Saint. There we go. We did it. Don't die. Okay, it's probably a bit warmer in here. Wait, what is the... Oh, I forgot, yeah, I always forget this place now has low gravity since the Rivulet campaign. Ugh. I'm just trying not to get wet. Just stopping by. Hello, chat member. He's browning. I'm at the shelter. by touching an outlet. I don't think that's that's not quite an outlet. That's like standing inside. There appeared to be like an air gap between it, but who knows? Maybe they're using some sort of super conducting super cable that just extracts the full power seamlessly and there's barely any leaks out. Alright, the karma is bouncing back. about to go back to playing Voices of the Void. Oh, cool. Not many people play that game as far as I know, but it's a cool one. I like that. Rivulet's coating of slime protects from the gamma rays. <laughs> That's good. If it would, it makes it sound like, um, there's one pearl that makes it sound quite a lot like the, uh, Putting stuff into void fluid in the rarefaction cell is basically equivalent to dropping it into a black hole. 
which I'm pretty sure would release quite a lot of fucking high energy radiation, just as a general rule, so... I'm sure it's fine. I, dying and reincarnating, for all I know, cures uh, any cancer that may result. Or at least is the least of the uh, the slug cat's worries at that point, you know. Why am I going to moon? I have to give her these pearls in case they have anything left on them. This one's not totally white, so I thought it might have some data. Also, I just like talking to moon. Is that a crime or something? Yo. Oh, hello. Have you come back to see me again? Ah, uh, you remind me of an old creature who used to visit here often. The passage of time has since taken them away, of course. That was a while ago. Stay as long as you'd like, but not too long. This chamber is not very well insulated from the cold. You want this? What is that? Little creature. This one again. I am sorry, strange friend. There isn't much left on any of these. No, it's just another white one. A pearl can only take so much exposure to the environment before the data inside is burned away. All that is left now is a pale white image. I can only make out a single piece of it. You could give these to the scavengers, however. Their fascination with shiny objects has probably not changed. I'm sure they will find better use in uh, one of their collections. Okay, but what about this one, though? What is that? Little friend, this- Aw, oh, it's also- it, But it was slightly yellow. It's slightly piss-colored. I was holding out hope against hope. What am I grappling here? Whee! Glomp. I thought you could grapple these- oh yeah, you can! <laughs> Thoughts on this, Moon? I'm surprised it lets you do this. Little friend, why are you giving me this shit? Uh, I'm gonna die if I stay here, actually. Okay, see ya, Moon. Nice talking. It's my pet neuron on a leash, yeah. Whee. Well, we had to see Moon before really starting the, uh, the activities for, uh, for the day, so... Now that that's out of the way... Oh, I can't rest there. Hmm, I'm gonna have to book it a little bit if I want to actually eat and rest at the next shelter before I die. Uh, we got all the bubble weeds, though. Moon probably does have dialogue if you die in front of her. I think that's a standard issue for iterators. I, get, I died here once from uh, touching a jellyfish underwater. Gotta be careful of that. Okay, where's the other bubble weeds at? There's one. There was another, there it is. Okay, that's enough. Ah, shit. Whee. It's pretty hard to swing from the tongue in zero G, actually. Uh, can I get up here? <laughs> Look at me go. Boing. That was a cool jump. Oh, 
I have a plan on where to go next. I'd rather try out that plan than have people just immediately tell me the optimal route. I'm gonna go to subterranean, then I'm gonna go to farm arrays and see what's up. I'm gonna take a bite of a cookie as well. What kind of cookie? It's called a cowboy cookie. It's a recipe. They're they're homemade cookies. But it's like a like a normal chocolate chip cookie with uh with oats in it, so it's got some texture. It's hard to describe, but they're very good. Nice. Wee. Ah, oh, look at me go. Oh, I can eat those bubble weeds actually. Might as well, I guess. I might need the food. They're still not very good, but they're available. These aren't actually bubble weeds, but I forget what they're called. Or, um, I don't even so much forget as I've, I've never known what they're called. They're just green things. Little green thing. That's me. Green thing McGee. Oop, don't sting me, please. That could be Saints like rapper uh, alias Lil Green Thing. God, the, uh, I made, like, the Christian rapper joke in, uh, election trucking, but has anyone ever heard of a, a Buddhist rapper? Can we imagine what that would be like? Because, like, forcing Christianity into various media is kind of a trope that we're familiar with in the Western world, but does an equivalent exist for Buddhism in, like, the Eastern <laughs> culture? I don't know. Can I eat this? Oh, no, I can eat the orange stuff. That's right. I'm just gonna take some of that. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Please regain your breath faster, Saint. Time is of the essence here. Okay. Um, I can just go this way, I think. Why does it take me so long to catch my breath? I'm dying of the cold here. Please hurry up. Come on, there we go. Um, if only we had the monk shelter now. They're called glow weeds. Ah, yes. Naturally. Okay. Hmm. I'm not totally confident about reaching the shelter, honestly. I'm looking a bit pale. A bit peaky. And not like the blinders. I got that glow weed if you know what I mean. I'm not sure if that's what you're going for, chat member, but that's how I read it. Actually, no, this probably isn't the best shelter to go to, but I'm, I'm committed at this point. Um, I'm just gonna stay the course. I might be able to make it. Come on, let's 
scope. Get your ass slurping, Saint. Don't have time to waste here. But I better not fucking die just going down the long uh, driveway of the shelter. That whole room might count as a shelter somehow and therefore be warm. I don't actually know how it works. The spider is just right in the way. Um, that spider... Oh my god. Uh, I was just about to say that spider seems passive half the time. Okay, let's not go to that shelter. That's not the right shelter to go to. Okay, um, actually, no, this will be easy this time, because I know that there's absolutely nothing to talk to Moon about. I can just skip that whole step. And proceed directly to go and collect $200. I guess Saint also never has access to the the passive glow because you can never actually Oh oh fucker almost killed me but I got better Just had a near death experience um yeah let's just have a snack and move on from that Wait what is that why is there like a floor tentacle grabbing me? I lived, bitch. I'm glowing right now? Am I? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I wanted to share this. I have a theory. A game theory on what Saint is. Because I was speculating about that. Or not even speculating. I was wondering about that last stream. Like, what is this weird enlightened cat doing? And I have a theory on it. And uh, it's just that... From the start of the game, the slug cats have had basically a... Uh, they've been like at an early hominid level of technology and culture. They were already pretty smart. They had like... Language of some sort. They would draw things. They had like a communal lifestyle. Uh, they, they raised their young. All that stuff. And like... So much time has passed since then at this point, like potentially thousands of years, that why why couldn't the slug cats just have evolved into like an even more intelligent race at this point? Like we're saying, what why is Saint so intelligent? How does Saint already know how to talk to the iterators? What if the slug cats literally like people kept coming back to their tree and talking about like, oh I keep meeting these like robot gods? Why am I going this way? Fuck, I got distracted talking about my theory and went the wrong direction. Um... Anyway, uh, yeah, they, like, they kept coming back, and... Why couldn't the slug cats just have developed their own fucking plan for once instead of being sent by an iterator? Be like... We're, we're gonna send, like, a, an enlightened monk to go, um... I don't know, do something about the situation here. I don't know if that aligns with the uh, Fanon consensus or whatever what, what the Fanon consensus even is for what the saint is, but and we see the saint coming back from ascension at the start, right? So that's it's clear that there's someone who like could have ascended or did ascend but came back, um, which is sort of it ties into the concept of the Bodhisattva, which I mentioned on the previous stream, and I still think that's kind of what they're going for there, but. Just in terms of what the saint was originally, and why uh, the saint is so intelligent, and what motivates the saint's actions here, I think it just might be, or it could be rather, as simple as, like, 
the slug cats just like wanted to do this independently. Because it was inevitable that like a new intelligent race would sort of rise up to fill the ancient's place and like the the best candidates for that are basically the slug cats and the scavengers. Okay, so wait, I can't even go that way? Uh hmm. Do I go up here then? I have to quickly get myself back to the shoreline shelter if I want to not die. Wait, what was the route to that? Does that shelter not exist anymore? Oh dear. Okay, what's down here? I think the shelter I thought was here is actually not here anymore. I was thinking of the one at the entrance to Shaded Citadel, but that may have collapsed. There's the one up there. This is the underwater adventure. Oh, there's one down there. Okay, I see it. It's rather deep underwater though. Can I reach that? Wait, I can't even go that way. Fuck. Uh, I'm browning. I'm gonna die. I was too slow. I'm stuck in the shoreline zone. Oh, it was below that jellyfish, right? Because I remember I swam up and died to that jellyfish. So I don't think I can swim down there in time. I'm dead. Okay, faster this time. I don't need to fuck with the glow weed. That stuff is inefficient, and there's food on the way anyway. A lantern would be useful, but I gave it to five pebbles as a uh, hashtag moral choice. Five pebbles who definitely doesn't need a lantern. <laughs> Leech has eaten that holy corpse. Like the apostles of Christ. Don't zap me, please, sir. Don't zap me. That's actually a bit... The jellyfish has been dead both times, which means that I could get two free food pips, so... I'm gonna have to acquire the food elsewhere as an alternative. I get my breath back so much faster that time. What was the difference? Before it took me, like, three times that long to get my breath. Um, I can pop these quick for some snacks. Some tindies. This term fucking tindies is gonna be ruined for me after watching that Dan Olsen video about the, uh, Wall Street bets. I wonder if it's faster to go down here. I don't have to touch the water as much, at least, maybe. Oh, this is probably not the right way. Um, no. I don't think it's the right way. Okay, back up. Back up. Oh, if I go b below one and a half pips, it takes longer to recover. All right. Please go up. Five pebbles refers to the creators of the depths of the ancients. Someone someone said maybe that was in that lore video I watched. Was that the, the five pebbles almost always refers to the ancients that we know of as his creators. And so him calling the creators of the depths, um, the place where the ancients danced their silly dances, is referring to like a different ancient. It's like the ancients to the ancients. The people who came before, which is corroborated by that one Echo who talks about they were even older civilizations that they drilled through to get to the void. 
So it seems more likely to me that the um, the original people who built the the temple in the depths were like before even the people who built the iterators, and they had their own culture surrounding the void. That the um, the modern ancients like rediscovered essentially. How did I get stuck on the surface of the water that badly? That surface tension gets you sometimes. Okay. Um, actually, where the shelter might just be to the left here. The shelter... Oh no, it's down there. Actually, I don't, I don't even know how to get to that shelter. That seems like a sketchy prospect. And the other one is... Well, fuck, I don't know. Um, I guess all I can really do is go left. Or I can try this one again. You know what, I'm just gonna do that. I don't have a plan on how to get back to that other shelter. Um, I don't even know if I can reach it, so I'm just gonna go back to the Pebbles one, even if it's, uh... Even if the spider kills me. I have to try. I think it's the best option. This spider is such a fucking problem. There's no obvious way to get past it without it just letting you live. I just have to go for it. It let me live. Great success. Duke it out. Is it gonna come back? Maybe. Okay, it went somewhere. Oh, it was in the ground the whole time. All right. That's fine. Made it. Okay, so this has all been a... If you look at it from a certain lens, a colossal waste of time, but really, the experience is its own reward. And we got to talk to Bluebow in another timeline. weird there's already a civilization that had the symbol for karma. Well, I can only remember that, that symbol appearing once in the depths, which you could interpret as, like, the ancients discovered that place and probably used it as, um, I guess an early conduit to void ascension before they started shipping that stuff back in, like, parts and industrialized it. So they could have, like, retrofitted it with their decorations or alternatively... The symbol for karma could have just been that ancient. A lot of um, religious symbols in the real world are have their roots from like thousands of years ago, so it's not too far fetched that they just could have had the same symbol carry over from lost cultures like that. All right, where's the, what's the plan this time? I have to go here, and then out, and then into the shoreline, and then my map stops working. Oh, oh, the spider's coming to get me. Hang on. Are you coming through the pipe? What are you doing, spider? Why is it so fast? Why do they need it to be so fast? Come through the pipe, for fuck's sake. 
I need to get past you somehow. Get out. Nice. All you have to do is bite it to lunge at your head, and you win. It's easy. Do you think the scabs might go extinct? It seems like... Um... They seem equipped to survive the Ice Age, like... They have... They're like the most advanced species on the planet, probably, in terms of like, their evolution and intelligence. I imagine if anything would survive, then it would be them. If they could survive the fucking Artificer mass extinction event, they can probably come back from anything. What's interesting about this planet having an Ice Age is, like, it's unclear what will actually remove the Ice Age, you know? Like, um... Because in the real world, the Ice Age is caused by, like, uh, polar cycles with the Earth's magnetic field or something. I forget exactly what it was. Um, but here, the Ice Age is just a planet going back to the way it was before they built five pebbles and, like, destroyed the natural ecosystem, so... It's not exactly comparable. Um, this seems like a bad way to go. I'm just gonna try to swim down there. I, I think I gotta try it, at least. This fucking vulture's in the way, though, damn it. So it's below where the, the jellyfish vulture complex is. Is that vulture drowned itself? What the fuck is going on? Oh yeah, it's not actually that far. Okay, this was not a challenge at all. It looked much more intimidating on the map. Uh, I just need to pop some of this quick and I can survive, I think. Looking good. Oh, the jellyfish can kill the vulture? I guess it has the, um, the electrical shock attack. The vulture could have gotten caught in that. Florp. Okay, we're good. That's progress. Mel back with that triumphant free win for the last cane mark. Wonderful. If I don't get my karma high enough, we're never going to be able to see what my max karma is. <laughs> so we're not going to know how many, uh... Did I unlock both of those at the same time? How did I not have the monk until now? Is that just because I died too much? Or like, I wasn't eating any meat, surely? Or, or I guess I was, just to see what would happen a couple times. No, I have not tried the Neko Arc mod. Like, I'm just sleeping, then the, the floor opens up and I naturally slide out of the shelter. That's the Slug Cat's morning routine. Okay, so where do I want to go from here? Um, if the goal is subterranean, I think it's probably just to the left really far. That's, that's my guess. Just keep going left. My movement tech's probably going to be pretty, um, nerfed in Subterranean 2, which I'm not looking forward to. All the tight tunnels don't really let you swing around too much. Um, do I want that? It's, it's a food pit, whatever. Go for it.
uh, chat member, I'm not qualified to give a more nuanced explanation of uh, the concepts of Buddhism. You're gonna have to read Wikipedia more, I guess. My, my knowledge of Buddha <coughs> excuse me. My knowledge of Buddhism too comes from reading Wikipedia. Um, okay, this does not strike me as leading to subterranean. This is going up for like ten miles. What the fuck was the subterranean connection in here? It was down and over here, I thought. So how do you how do you go that way? Let me just uh That's a dead end. There's there's physically a wall in the way. Like I, I can't go any further. Oh yeah, this is faster. This is going to lead back to garbage wastes, I think, which I don't believe is the same connection. Oh, that's a leech pit. Oh, bruh. They immediately got me. I just pounced directly into the leech. Like it was just as soon as I touched them, my control was gone. It was back a bit from here. Okay. Just make life better, Lamau. You're gonna have to find uh, find some real Buddhists to debate about this. Become Buddhist Richard Dawkins if you want. Go crazy. Okay. Uh, that was where I came from. That leads up above. I think you can go down to fucking something. Who knows what's down there. I'm kind of curious. I want to do a big dive. Uh, hi there. Is this like rivulet stuff? I might just be killing myself here. Oh, maybe this is the way actually. Let's see. I don't actually know where I'm going right now, but that might be a good sign, honestly, because I I don't really um, have much recollection of the path to Subterranean. I'm going to hell? Subterranean is kind of hellish. That's a gate. I might not have enough karma to get through it. Well, let's see. Oh, I sure don't. Oh, no, I do. Okay, I misread that as the uh, five karma symbol. Underwater sauna adventure. Is it heating me up? What if I swim close to the element? Warmth, warmth, warmth. Oh, it is heating me up. It's like a hot tub. This is Pipe Yard? Pipe Yard goes down here? What the fuck? I thought Pipe Yard was like, up. But like, whatever. Pipe Yard also connects to the subterranean anyway, so... Desolate Canal. Interesting. It's not even a big deal. I need food before I can rest there. That is an aquapede. That's bad. That'll kill me. Um, it doesn't look like I can easily get over that little lip there. Oh, but I can go under, I see. Uh, if I just stick to the ceiling really close, maybe I'll be safe? Those are leeches. Those will also kill me. Important to note. Really could use some food right now, like a snack or something. 
hardest entrance to find? Well, in this case it was easier than the uh, the normal one. There is just not going to be any food, is there? Okay. I'm going to have walked to the next shelter before I find any food. Another aquapede. Joy. Love it. I swear this is the way, this looks kind of like the way that I came here th from uh, the filtration system as Survivor, which is what I was picturing. It was this kind of layout. But that was before I had Downpour installed. Um, the time constraint is going to be severe at this rate. What is that? Is that another Aquapede? I think so. It, it looks like it is. Um, map? I think that's a dead end. It looks like I can go above if I go a bit further left, though. I just don't want to go into the water with that Aquapede. Yeah, there it is. Very dark in here. Okay, crossroads. I see no reason to take one option over the other, so I'm just going to go to whatever's closest. Some moist green slime. Um, if I find another shelter, I'm going to starve at this rate, because there's no other option. I just, I'm going to die of cold if I keep going. Ooh, there's some bubble weed though, so that is something. Okay, eat the glowy thing. Wait, it's warm in here. Is it? Oh, dude. Okay, this is a warm room somehow. I think I might be saved. It's all green and planty, and the plants generate heat. That's a real thing, by the way. Trees generate heat. Um, a very slight degree. They can actually melt snow around them. Uh... God, this is just a fucking... I'm in Nowhereville. I have no idea where this path leads. But going to the left eventually is going to take me close to subterranean. Just as a general rule. Okay, here's all the food. I can keep some of that. Um, I hope there's not water on the other side. What the fuck is this room? Uh, okay, that one goes up. I'm just going to keep going left. Is that because of respiration? Uh, s of the cellular variety, probably. Oh, this looks sketchy. That's like a death trap. I think I can probably do it, but it's going to be tight. Uh, well, I guess we'll try. Okay, it's doable. Uh, yet another one. These all go up now. I don't know. Oh, I'm heading a- oh yeah, okay. That's true. I tend to get sidetracked- or not sidetracked. I get fixated on moving a direction, and the offshoots are usually where they hide the shelters. And so by ignoring the offshoots, I also miss the shelters. Um, okay. Leap of faith. It's not a good start, but I can make it, I think. This is like part two of the drainage system experience, really. Wait, no, that, that's another way I could have gone already. I think I just went in a circle? I super did. Okay, there was no shelter. It was a lie. That was, it was just a waste of time. Um, fuck. Okay, I'm stuck. Get back to shelter. Holy shit. And sometimes you just don't go through the pipe entrance and underwater that can kill you. Plants make photosynthesis to make sugar and then respirate to break it down. I'd assume that's how it works. Because um, photosynthesis doesn't directly generate ATP as far as I know. And I think that's the stuff. I don't think that, like, I think using adenosine triphosphate to 
make cell processes run is like that's universal down to like a microbial level. I don't think plants would be different. Um, okay, another crossroad. Can I follow the pipe down, maybe? There it is. Oomp. It's a big, silly maze. Ah, the shelter. Wonderful. So some kind of progress is being made. I read the device at the wrong time and then misinterpret where chat wants me to go. Well, that's just the conceit of a chat, right? Is that, like, the message is going to be delayed by five seconds anyway, and I'm only going to see it, like, five seconds after you post it, probably, so... It's hard to give up-to-date directions through this medium. And I guess the bottom line is just to not be surprised when it doesn't work very well. Can you see anything? Yeah, there's a little bit of visibility in this area. That's just, you acclimatize to the lack of visibility in Rain World over time. Delicious food. Uh, okay. I think I want to head back up and then continue left. YouTube also makes things a bit darker, or so I've heard. I'm not sure how much it does, but, um... I don't know, it's just kind of dark. Okay. Oh, puts you directly into the swimming challenge. I'm just going left. Yes, it's dark, darker, yet darker. Uh... This is looking a bit different. The, the scenery is changing. This is definitely a pipe yard. I could be lower. I'm going to stick to the lower path because that's more subterranean, you know? Are scabs friends or enemies? I think, well, they're not enemies in the same way they are an artificer, but they have negative rep with me now. Uh, or I think they did from the start for some reason, then I stole a lantern from one. So I probably have negative rep. Uh, there's a hostile. I can hear it. A black lizard, probably. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I can distract these guys if I'm clever, um, with a rock or something. Do I have a rock? I don't. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Wait, if I wait for him to pass, and then make my move... I think crawling is also silent, which is going to work to my advantage here, because these guys navigate uh, by ear. There we go. I'm going to abandon one of the food to take a brick, because that'll help me survive the lizards, potentially. Is that the brick? It is, okay. Oh, that's a kelp. Okay, well, the brick saved my life instantly. <laughs> I'm glad I took it. Holy shit. Um, I was not anticipating the giant kelp being there, but also... I don't have any more rocks. Oh, wait, I have a tongue. I forgot about that. I don't need rocks. Uh, did I throw the food? I think I mashed and threw the food away, but that's okay. But yeah, also I ran through a toll. So yeah, the scams probably don't like me too much. I can still trade with them if I have, like, valuables, but they might also just kill me occasionally. Uh, how does this room work? How 
How many people have even come through here as part of their playthroughs, I wonder? It doesn't seem like there's a huge wealth of uh, Rain World downpour playthroughs in general on YouTube. Oh! Well, shit. That's gonna take a while to get back. Yes, yeah, Scurry did the one big playthrough, but um, I've I've seen recommended. There's a there's a few more that are like, um, on the smaller side, in terms of like views. And Scurry never went to Pipe Yard, so yeah, there you go. That was a uh, quite a big gap between the this shelter and there. I'm not going to bother with extra food, I'm just going to carry rocks around for safety. I've already gotten the pacifist uh, passage, so I don't need to be a pacifist anymore. That's how it works. I can hit things with rocks all day long. Uh, keep going. <clears throat> yeah, from what I've heard about Pipe Yard, it's a downpour exclusive region, but there's nothing really in it, and all it does is connect a bunch of areas that weren't connected before. So it's kind of in a weird niche. It's something that you traverse. It's literally a liminal space. But also you don't strictly need to traverse it ever because the base game is built to be traversable by itself, so... Uh, those lizards sound close, but I cannot see them. Oh, this fucking room. I don't love the look of it. Are they gonna go down? I think I follow that one is the best bet. They're hard to see when they're not moving, actually. It's spooky. Wait, I don't want to be up there. Okay, where's the third one? Oh, it's hearing my footsteps because I'm not crawling. down. Oh, that's not a good direction to go. Uh, go through the pipe. Go somewhere. I can outrun it, it's fine. Uh, this is the kelp zone. Do not forget the kelp. You can bypass the kelp, but don't forget it. <laughs> there we go. Alien Isolation Pac-Man. That's a pretty good description of Rain World. I've heard, and I don't know if there's a primary source on this, that the um, Pac-Man was explicitly cited as an inspiration by the devs. Pac-Man with good AI or something. Although Pac-Man did have the first um, non-trivial video game AI, fun fact. The ghosts have different uh, AI functions. Uh, don't kill me, sir, please. Do not kill me, please. Uh. Okay, there's a million scavengers and a centipede above. I don't really want to interact with that. But maybe one of them has a lantern and is going to kill itself. So maybe I should check it out. Oh, there's a lantern and a dead scav. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Oh, his buddy took the lantern, though. Shit. I could mug him. I have rocks. It's probably not a good idea, but I could do it. Shit, his buddy's here now. Wait, he's going to get killed by a lizard. Uh, I'm gonna get killed by a lizard at this rate, too. 
which isn't ideal. Uh, let's just like wait it, wait this out. See how this plays out, you know. Got scavenger is stuck inside a giant centipede, but there is now a lizard between me and the scavenger. The lizard is leaving. More scavengers are coming. The lizard is back. I just want the lantern, dude. This has become a war zone, and I just want my fucking lantern. What is that? Is that a scavenger? I think it's a scavenger corpse. It's in the way. Uh, can you just move over here, please? Okay. What's going on on the home front? Okay, that scavenger is still alive. But maybe not for long if the lizard goes down that pipe. You can't go back that way. Oh wait, he's gone below. Is that an entrance? Oh, you can go that way. Okay, I still kind of want to mug the scavenger. Did it go in a den? Shit. I don't think I can follow him down there. He escaped. Oh wait, no, he just teleported over there. He still might die. This is weird, I'm like, just kind of stalking the scav and rooting for his death. Without being directly able to kill him myself. Okay, this is... I'm now in filtration, which is where I wanted to go, but also I want the lantern, please. <gasps> he dropped it, he dropped it. Okay, how do I get in there? I gotta be quick. I don't know what happened to the scav, but that lantern is now 100% unattended. How do I get there? I don't see a connection to that. I have to go all the way down and back up to get in there apparently, okay. This area is a Ridiculous maze. Oh, there's the scav. Looking a bit on the dead side right now. Um, can I pick up the scavenger, please? I'm trying to grab that scav. The lantern. Oh, the mouse gave me the lantern. What a bro. All right. Mission accomplished. That was a whole fucking arc. The mouse kicked the lantern down the hole to me. Now watch me die in 10 seconds and lose all this progress. Um, I hear a lizard. No, that's just the mouse revving up to max power. Forgot they did that. There's fucking scavengers in the way, god damn it. No, don't put the lantern down. Oh! <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh my god. There we go, finally, okay. This is like a logistical challenge on the level of, like, supplying ammo to the Western Front. I have as much food as I could possibly want. Maybe I'll take a spare for fun. This seems like the wrong direction to go. I probably want to keep going down, which I'll do by taking the right entrance out of here. And going in here. Wait, no, it's over here. Swallow the lantern. I want the lantern for the light as well as the thing. Um, so swallowing it isn't really the best down here. There's the shelter, dude. So close. Oh, almost got me. That would have gotten me if I didn't have a tongue. I could sense that was a trap somehow. All right. Lantern acquired. I didn't even have to slay my hands by mugging the scav. I just waited till something else killed them. 
and looted uh, their body. Hashtag pacifist win. Alright, that was an hour and a half with no lantern that has now come to a close. Well, thanks to that mouse's uh, body falling down, I now know that there's water at the bottom of that hole. Cool. Wait, is this where I think it is? I think this is the entrance to... Um, this is where I got stuck as Gourmand, I believe, and there's like a five karma gate just to the left here, which I'm going to need to pass. Um, and also, I remember there not being a whole lot of food down here. Unless, maybe they've patched in all those gooey ducks and it's easy now, I forget. Uh, there's a kelp. Do I have a rock? Anti-kelp rock? Oh wait, I can go under? Do I want to? Is this a good idea? Probably not. But I made it work. As soon as I started swimming, I kind of realized, like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to surface. I'm gonna have to surface right where the kelp is. <laughs> There's a rock. And a reminder, I'm not going to the Void Sea even. I'm trying to get back up to farm arrays through here. Which, I guess we never really confirmed it. Uh, whether or not that the Echo in the Pit, does that belong to the farm arrays or does that belong to the subterranean? Because if that's the farm arrays Echo, then I don't know where the subterranean Echo actually is. Um, but I get that little thing, right? Like the saint gets that little notification if there's an echo nearby, so maybe I can just look for that. Everyone's saying that is the subterranean echo. There's the gate. This is five karma, I think, because I got stuck here for like two hours as Gorma. No, 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 no. It's fucking impossible to see drop wigs down here. Okay, well that's gonna extend the time I spend in this area exponentially. Mm, I, I think going forward isn't even productive because there's like no food over there. I went the whole way and I didn't see any food, so... I'm just gonna go back and try to like pick fruit, I guess. The way that I got out of here as Gourmand was to hunt black lizards for a long time, and I can't do that as the saint, so there's going to have to be some alternative. Watching from a Chili's, that sounds glorious. Uh-oh. Um, this area is infested with black lizards and I can't see them very well. There's one fruit. I just summoned the black lizards. Fuck. Why did I throw that? I need one more fruit. Oh, I never got this uh, <laughs> unlock. I remember that being there is Gourmand, actually, but I guess I never actually went up and got it. A bit easier with the tongue. Keep crawling. Is there a spitter spider? Those are like spitter spider grubs. There's so many fucking lizards. An unbelievable quantity of lizards, and all I need is one fruit. I need a single fruit, and I have to combat like 50 lizards to get there, to even have a chance. That's a dead end. Oh dear. Why would they have a dead end? The lizard left? I'm saved. Okay. I haven't gone up here yet. I swear to god if the scav mercs me. 
I'm not gonna be happy. Every death I take here is gonna like exponentially extend the time it takes to get through that gate because I'm gonna have to like farm the karma to overcome the karma I've already lost. It's like a, a debt spiral. It's really bad. So the stakes are very high. Uh, this is a whole big fucking ceiling adventure I went on for absolutely no reason. What was the point of any of that? Like, why is that pipe there? I... Hmm, I can't even eat the centipedes, can I? The centipedes are a good food source otherwise. I came here as Gourmand too. I remember I had to go to this area to find more food. Did that centipede just hiss at me? Fuck off, centipede. You ain't shit. That is a lizard. There's some fruit. Is that a drop wig above me? No, that's an unlockable, I think. Hard to tell the difference, kind of. Uh, yeah, that's a lizard coming to eat me. Don't like it. There's a drop wig there too, great, okay. Remember there's a drop wig here and be careful about that. Okay, the lizard is navigating the pipe so I can go this way safely. Climb up here, get to the roof, get the unlock, and fruit zone. Okay, perfect. I'm tempted to stick around and see if there's any more fruit, because uh, it'll make things much more efficient if I can go back holding one or two. And this isn't the most threatening area I've seen. Wait, I can't go up here? That's just nothing. Oh, there's a shelter here. That's actually quite convenient. That'll save me a, a trip back and a lot of danger if I can just rest here. Even with a centipede. That's fine. Centipede can sleep here as well. much of Silent Construct have I explored? Um, I found the Echo and I found Pebbles, which as far as I know is basically the points of interest. There's no rarefaction cell there anymore. Okay, I need three food and I need to get back to that shelter without dying. And if I can do that, then I've succeeded. But if I die, we have to restart this whole fucking process. Getting back to that shelter is going to be a pain too because of all those black lizards in the way. That's like the most dangerous area. Um, I kind of want to take the high road here because I'm not sure what's waiting in that water. The scam's fighting! <laughs> okay. Hi scabs, how you doing? What's, what's coming out? What's coming out? No, 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 no. You can't get me here. Go die to the centipede or something. I guess I'll follow. No, 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 no. Fight the centipede, not me, you idiot. Look, there's more coming to get you now, because you're being a lollygagger. I think he disarmed himself, actually. You can't see me. Okay, perfect. Scav's coming back. He's got a rock and he's throwing at me. Hmm. Just go away. I'm going past you. I don't care. Uh, what is this fresh hell? Cyan lizard monster kelp. Bye. Okay, I'm not going that way. No thanks. Bye. No thanks. That's the fastest I've ever moved in this game, holy shit. Oh, I think the ceiling pipe was to get past the kelp that didn't spawn last time. That would do it. 
Okay. So I'm back in the area that I don't know of any food in. I think if I go back the way I got here, there might be some more fruit. Like, if I go back to the right, I think there was some fruit still dangling somewhere. Uh, you can hear the lizards doing their thing. There's a spitter spider. That's bad. Um, how easily can I avoid that? It's in the pipe. Uh, I need to go through that pipe to get back. It is completely blocking the way. Okay, well... If I do that, it's just gonna kill me. In the immortal words of Sans Undertale. Um... Yep, there's... <laughs> I don't know how to overcome that. There's just a spider in the way. The cyan lizard may be gone? That's an idea. I can check that out. Because uh, that's sort of... I'm running out of options here. I need to find food somehow. And there's only so many more areas that could contain food down here. Oops. I bonked, but it's fine. Oh, there's the cyan. I don't think it can jump quite this high. Oh, it can. Never mind. <clears throat> Cyans can do whatever they want. Is it gonna come back down? Wait, I can go in there. Uh, oh, this is... Why is... The, how the fuck did the vulture get in? Why is there a drop wig? This sucks. I'm just gonna peacefully dislodge... Oh, my tongue isn't quite long enough. I'm just gonna peacefully dislodge the drop wig here. I don't really want it sharing the same uh, ceiling as me. Find another rock, maybe. That's a spear, not what I want. I'd like my rock back, actually. Where'd it go? Can I go down here? Oh, the rock looks gonna come get me. Okay, I'll find another rock somewhere else. Cyan and... Oh! Oh, no, 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 please. No, thank you. This is why I wish I had a fucking rock. Wait for it. Shoot. Oh, no. Fuck. Okay, it's not really chasing me, it looks like. That could have ended my life if- they, Oh my god, I can't do it. I just can't do it. This is stressful. When Ixia reignited is now on the, uh, the Pidge train. Getting hyped up for out of context Andrew Cunningham compilations. Well, I hope you plan to produce them. Alright, does anyone see food? Very rapidly surveying the area. <coughs> what is that? Is that a lantern mouse? I think that's just a lantern mouse. Well, that's a centipede. Oh, I can eat those. I can eat that. Hang on. There's an evil centipede in the way. Uh, please just don't approach me, centipede. No, 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 no. The centipedes probably can't swim. I'm gonna guess. Oh. Oh, this is fucking dangerous. I need that plant. 
air. They can't swim. That's my one saving grace here. This is so scary. Eat the food and leave immediately. Holy shit, okay, I've... That's still not enough food? Oh god. I thought that was enough somehow. Alright, I need a bit more. This area looks, uh... Well, easy to navigate at least. And the music is nice here. The music is often nice in this game. Anyone see food? <laughs> Can you direct me to some food, little mouse? Could I go up through that shaft? That looks like a classic Rain World invisible wall shaft. They basically have them patented. Oh no, I can go through a pipe here. I, that's what you mean. Wait, where is this? I thought this was like an echo background for a second, but I think it's just very foggy. Okay, this is not where I was originally trying to go, but where is this? I'm gonna swallow the lantern here, actually, because I don't need the light as much. Uh-oh. Scavs. This guy might be a problem. This is just a big vertical pipe. This is back to the pipe yard, I think, because I am in a pipe right now. That kind of checks out. Oh yeah, I don't want to be in there. One thing this area distinctly seems to lack is any kind of food whatsoever. Which is a bit unfortunate. Oh hi. I have not seen this area ever. <laughs> if this is pipe yard though, I think. I'm pretty sure it's just pipe yard. Um this is a hell of a detour to get to the fucking filtration system shelter. I'm gonna find another shelter first. There we go. I knew it would happen. <laughs> uh, okay, have a snack, take a rest, and then I have to make the journey back down there all over again without dying. Left pipe yard. Oh god. Okay, well that's five karma though. That's what I need. Having a karma flower at this juncture would be real nice. Haven't seen one of those in a while. You think the saint with his holy powers would be able to just like shit out a karma flower if he really wanted to, but I guess not. I'm gonna pour some tea, actually. I've been going tea-less the whole time. I got options from the shelter. Well, I think my main option is just to go back. Um, unless I can go directly through Pipe Yard and then go to... What you call it? The farm arrays directly without going through filtration? I don't know. I'm not sure what the route is, and I do know the route through filtration, roughly. Uh, hi everyone. I'm leaving. Immediate red centipede. Yeah, this area sucks. I'm just gonna go. I'm going back. Slorp, 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 slorp. Look at me slorp. That's a death pit! That's a death pit! 
<laughs> that was so fucking scary. Nothing is scarier than going through a screen transition and the camera doesn't scroll. Jesus Christ. That could have been the end of everything. Okay, we're back here. It's probably not actually that far back in an absolute sense. Why does that have to be a death pit, by the way? The pipe just keeps going. I can see the end of the pipe. Death pits are very arbitrary, and I don't like it. Um, I'll do a brief check to see if there's even more food as insurance. Uh, but there is not. Room size limitations, yeah. You'd think they could find some way just to make it like an alternate loading zone, though, instead of just instantly kill you. I just went right through that kelp. The spider also went right through me. <laughs> this game is fucked. I hate this game. <laughs> There's a drop wig here, too, sometimes. I have to remember that. Where might the drop wig be? This iteration. Ow. I think my best defense against the drop wig is just to go really fucking fast. Kelp. He avoids the kelp in this house. Okay. Now through the real danger zone, which is the black lizard hell. Um, which path do I take? Probably the second to the left. Wait, that's going to go back up. I don't want to go that way, probably. And I'm going to go a different way. And remember the drop wig potentially right before the shelter gate, too. Don't forget that one. You don't want to forget that guy. Um, wait, where do I... I need to go up through there. I'd appreciate like a piece of debris or something right now. bit of life insurance. Uh, okay, that lizard has a mouse, so hopefully it won't really want too much to do with me. There's another lizard behind it, though. Be very, very quiet. Uh, they're fighting? Please don't. Just let the lizard come through the pipe, goddammit. I don't want that thing near me. Oh, they're coming in here. That's bad. Uh, I'd like a lantern, please. There we go. These guys are really not in a good spot. If they could just have a fight literally anywhere else, I'd love that. Oh, they're coming back here. No, 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 no. You can't see me. You can't see me. Go back up. Go back up now. Where's he going? I can't move. I'm gonna risk making noise if I move anywhere. Until I see him go through that pipe. I'm not moving. I think he's camping above me? The map says he's not there, so I'm just gonna go. Okay. That was fucking sketchy. Okay, that's literally all I needed. The shelter is right here. But I can't... Oh, I don't have enough food to rest the shelter, of course. I'm just gonna have to take a direct route. Okay, so drop wig. There's a kelp in here, I think. There's a couple things that could kill me. There's the drop wig. Oh my god, I fucking jumped. I jumped <clears throat> in my chair. <laughs> this isn't okay. I need the lantern back. Go eat the fucking mouse. You stupid piece of shit. Okay, well the drop wig's out of the way. 
You can't see it. You just literally can't see it. It's too dark down here. It's not okay. Okay, the kelp is that way. Um, I... I don't have a rock to fight the kelp currently. Is there maybe like a pipe in the ceiling I can use? There sometimes is. There isn't. Okay. I got through the kelp last time by getting lucky. And that's basically it. Uh, so I want a rock. I don't know if that drop wig is back though. And there's no rock here. Give the kelp the lantern, but I, I need that. I could try an underwater adventure again to find a, a rock. Oh, I picked something up, I think. Maybe. It's a spear. Fuck me. I could give it a mouse? That's not very pacifist, though. Uh, hmm. I'm kinda fucked if this kelp is there, though. Like, there's no surefire way to bypass it without a rock. Oh, I see a rock down there. Can I reach down there? No. That is an inaccessible area to the extent that it is not even on the map. Maybe the mouse is the way. Where is the drop wig though? Seriously. Like, where the fuck is it gone? No, I had to drop the lantern to get the mouse. Are you fucking kidding me? Give me the lantern back. Why am I stunned? Where did it go? I swear to god. I can't even go down. That's not even the la It's just gone. The lantern is gone. Fuck me. Alright, BRB, I'm sending this mouse to hell. Then I can't die to reset here, otherwise I'm gonna lose my karma, so that's- I just can't get it back. Okay, let's make a very clear plan for what to do after the- we get past the kelp. I wanna go up to that ceiling pipe. Sorry, Mouse. To be fair, you maybe dropped the lantern, so it's basically your fault. I'm fighting tooth and claw for survival here. I'm pulling out all the stops. I, I had a swallow, but I took it out so I could, like, see the kelp and perhaps the drop wig, which is still going to kill me as far as I know. There's water here? Okay. <laughs> Good luck trying to spot the drop wig, by the way. Um, it's this way. Okay. There's another kelp here. Uh, okay. I got all the rocks in the universe now. Where's the kelp? Anyone see a drop wig? <laughs> it was right above the shelter last time, or the gate rather. I can't see anything here. I don't see anything moving. I think there was just that one drop wig. Fucking finally. I can see the echo too. I'm not even in the clear by the way until I get to a shelter and I don't have enough food to use a shelter. 
So I need to find two food and then get to a shelter without dying. Otherwise I go all the way back. Ancient Labyrinth. Is that what they're calling it these days? Infiltration isn't really the easiest area in general to navigate, is it? It's really kind of not. They have like the depths uh, yellow spotlights here, which I don't remember from before. Kind of strange. I wonder what those even are in the first place. I can't see shit. Okay, we're gonna have to go by like um, shaded citadel navigation. Just check the map every two steps. Oh, there's gooey ducks. Okay, that's a, a huge boon because these are like just super free food. Easy money. Wait. Oh, I thought that was a drop. Wait. <laughs> Filtration's a bit funky. I wonder why. Yeah, they've got all the void shit is here. Has it been so long that filtration has sunk like closer to the void sea? That would be a crazy twist. Because we know that like the land mass literally just sinks into the void over time. That would be crazy actually if you if you go down that drill shaft and just plop directly into the void instead of the in, in the the depths. Um okay, I got my rocks. Where- oh, okay. That wasn't me dying, that was just me <laughs> struggling to grab a pole. Um... Okay, that's not a path. Is that gooey duck worth- I'm gonna have to go back anyway. Maybe. Or not. What is that? Oh, that's a bogey. We have a lizard and we have a spider confirmed to exist in the world. Um, I'm trying to get closer to the surface at this point. So I have to follow them. Uh, and be very, very quiet. Stealth slurping. Uh, where is the path, by the way? There is no path there. Uh oh. Uh, he's coming back. What do I do? I can throw a rock, but there's nowhere else to really distract the lizard to move to. I can duke him out in the pipe pretty easily, though. Is he coming? No? I do not know where the lizard actually went. Uh, maybe it was this way, though. I didn't see that path to begin with. Oh, that is a spider. Okay. I want to get to that middle pipe. Reminder that if I die, I go all the way back. Did the spider hear me? Uh-oh. Just climb. There was a lizard there. Fucking jump scare. I don't recognize any of this. I don't have the lantern anymore. I don't have it. I lost it. Uh, lizard. I'm gonna have to just be patient as fuck with this lizard in the way, because I don't want to have to, like, just book it. Um... Maybe I can distract them, actually? Oh, that works. That works pretty well. Alright, I still have one more rock. If I treat this like the floor is lava, they can't hear me, because they if I'm crawling, they can't hear me, and if I'm climbing, they can't hear me. So if I just never touch the floor, normally I'm quiet. Please? There we go. Let me out. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I don't know the layout, and there's a lizard. There's only one path. 
Uh, the lizard is going up. The lizard is fighting a giant spider, which is in my way as well. That's not so good. The lizard is killing the spider. That is good. The lizard is coming toward me with the spider. Okay, I think we're good. It's clear. Just run. This is the most carefully I've ever played the game. Uh, and I don't know when fucking, when I'll be reprieved at this rate. When does it end? When is the shelter? To the left? Back there to the left. Oh god. Okay, well, uh... There's no shelter? Or is there a shelter? There's one closer to the right. Oh, okay, I'll just keep going then. At least there's no time constraint down here. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, oh. Okay. This is a pipe. I know how to navigate those. Sight is honestly overrated. Careful with centipedes. Oh, is this the way back to fucking... This is the shoreline path. This is what I was trying to do in the first place. Uh... Do I want to go this way? This is not to the farm arrays. This is somewhere else. And I that was like a dangerous path too. I don't really want to go there. There is a shelter. I'd rather not... That, that's like a centipede hole. And I can't see anything. Okay, is there any other path I can take? I'll try going up. Above is a dead end. Um, the lizards are all below me, which is fine. Yeah, I prefer taking my chances up here than with the uh, centipede tunnel. I can move up here. I can actually use my my god-given powers, you know. Uh, <clears throat> there's a scav and a lizard guarding the exit, though. Hopefully, they just kill each other or something, so I can get on with my life here. Okay, scav is helping out. Um, is that lizard gonna do anything else? Gonna make some noise so the lizard gets aggroed. There we go. <laughs> I'm just trolling the scavenger. Oh, don't go back that way. I... Uh... I have to follow it. You didn't see shit. You didn't see anything. Uh, okay, Primordial Underground. Welcome to the Underground. How was the fall? I'm- oh, I'm freezing again. Shit. Since when did it get cold? I'm brown? How cold is it? How fucking cold is it here? Why is it so cold? Bro, <laughs> what was that? What happened? I was green. Is this like a fucking cryogenic area? Oh my fucking god.
I thought the underground was just warm. Like, I thought that was just... I wasn't really changing color down there ever. No shit, the cycle went for a long time because they didn't give me a shelter. Okay, we're back to this. I have the lantern back. Isn't everyone excited? Plop. Um, I'm back in the fucking pipe yard. Um, I'm gonna stick around here a bit more and try to find food, I guess. That's probably the best option. Can't seem to climb that. Vulture, fuck. Fuck. That's all I need. I don't fucking want the vulture. Get out of here. I just have to wait this dude out. Didn't go back for the lantern. Okay, Vulture is leaving. I need that lantern back. Oh, no, the Vulture didn't leave. It didn't leave. No. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, the only option here is just like to stay in Pipe Yard and farm Karma, because it is not efficient in the depths at all. Or just don't go back to the depths at all. Is there a way from Pipe Yard directly to Farm Arrays? Because like that, at this point, is ideal. If I just don't have to fuck with filtration at all. Wait, the f I can go through Sky Islands? That connects to farm arrays. How the fuck does that work? To industrial and then outskirts. Wait. Isn't industrial to the to the right of me now? Like wouldn't that be going backwards? That's what I was trying to do last time seem to manage it. Let me guess. This is... It's not even a path. Uh, uh, okay. I can't go to the left. That's a hidden pipe with the scavenger came from. Hmm. I have to keep going the way I came from if I want to go anywhere here, it looks like. What about here? Centipede zone. This is where the red centipede was. I'm not going that way. Okay, let's see down here. Scavenger zone, no food apparent. Okay, this way. This is back here. Okay, there isn't really much of an option. Because there's, I just, there's no food. That's the limiting factor here. There is no food. Find the death pit at the bottom, by the way. Oh wait, there's something to the to the left there, but the lizard's in the way. I don't really want to go directly past the lizard if I don't have to. Still not to the bottom. There we go.
Um, but I'm gonna have to go way out of my way to get enough food down here to get back to five karma. I don't know how to do that. There's a shelter to the top right where you can farm. Mm. I'll see what's in here first. Is this just the same room with all the lizards in it? I don't know what's above here. There's a shelter. Huh. Well, okay. I think they just forgot to put food in this area. Kind of need that to uh, make progress in this game. Filtration as gooey ducks. The problem is that I need the karma to get to filtration. That is that is the issue. If I could get to filtration, then all the problems would be solved. There's a centipede. I think that's big enough to kill me. Uh, just levitate directly upward away from the centipede. Oh, this is fucked. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> That's not gonna work at all. Nope. Is he gonna come through the pipe or what? Centipedes just camp at pipes because they don't move unless they see something. <sighs> okay. You know what? No, I'm not going that way. Not doing that. Like, every way is a dead end here. Without food, no forward progress can occur. You just stagnate. It sounds like I just have to go back up. Like, just actually go through the pipe yard to, uh... Oh, fucking hell. Go through the pipe yard to... Where? Sky Islands? Industrial? Just somewhere. Anywhere else? Die anywhere else kind of situation? No ceiling there. Where do I go? Camera moment, holy shit. I could starve. For, you're not wrong about starving for karma. Uh, that's an option if I need to pass the gate quickly. But if I'm going this way, I don't even have to go through filtration at all is the thing. Like, I could just bypass it completely by going through Sky Islands. And the big issue is getting through filtration is because it has that 5 Karma Gate. If there's no 5 Karma Gate, then a lot of these problems solve themselves. But, hmm. Uh, this isn't so good. Worried that Scab was gonna jump down the pit and throw the bomb <laughs> and kill us all. Okay, bye. Ow. Uh oh. Yeah, he can hit me from there. 
sketchy. Get in here. This is a new area. I can't get to Shoreline without passing the Karma Gate again. If I could do that, then I could just try the, uh, the same route as last time and not die. Uh, ooh, popcorn. That is ideal. Holy shit. Oh, clutch. Okay, we're back. Okay, back up before. Um, not that that's necessarily even the goal anymore, because I just want to go to somewhere that isn't subterranean. Just go left, sure. Industrial is for karma? Isn't the gate from industrial uh, from outskirts to industrial only three karma though? Wait, this puts me back here. That's not where I thought I was going. Um, where do any of these go? That's down, that's a shelter. Up and left. That doesn't look like an option. I don't think the screen will even scroll up there. But you, I guess you can't really tell. No, it's not. Um, I could try going over everything here. Is this a route? Nope. Sure, how to go forward. I think I just have to go back down here and then up out of the pipe with a cyan lizard in the way. Great. Oh, fuck's sake. That'll do. Okay, coming up. There's a vulture. Great. Where does this go? Ooh, food room. Nice. Okay. Okay, that's enough to rest at the next shelter I get to, which is good. Go left from here. Uh, can do. This is a new room, I think. Stocked with flying centipedes for some reason. Uh, lots of flying centipedes for some reason. Oh, fuck. I thought that was, uh, a white lizard. Oh, no. Is Molly here? Oh, there's Molly. You're currently sick, but getting better as you watch the stream on low brightness and maximum warm tint. <laughs> How goes the rain world? It's going pretty bad right now. Um, I'm stuck in the poverty cycle. Full stop. I'm trying to find some lost souls to, like, steal their karma or some shit. That's how it goes. 
sorry to hear you're sick, by the way. That seems like the kind of thing that happens to you after you spend, like, 50 consecutive hours editing a video essay or something. been here before. This is a whole new zone. How did I get here? I spaced out and now this is, this is a dead end apparently? No wait, there's a hidden pipe. To a scavenger den. What the fuck? Is there a- can I take another lantern? I don't really need that. Um, I'll take a second lantern, sure. I'm a pacifist. How could I possibly use grenades? Maybe I should steal the scav's pearls to give them and then farm reputation back up. That's an idea, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. The ultimate long con, by which I mean a very short con. Actually. I'm just gonna pelt them with pearls until they stop wanting to kill me. Wait, how do they know that you stole them, though? Uh... Hey, scabs. Hey, scabs, you want these? I know you're fighting a spider, but let's do business. Let's trade. Where did they go? Uh, how do I physically give them pearls? Here. He didn't even want them. Fuck that guy. Nope. Oh my god. This is goofy, man. Where did the pearls go? Where did the scabs go? There's one. Do you want the pearls? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have to pass each other in this... There's a spider, please let me pass. There's a spider below me, please let me pass. This is fucking stupid. I'm just dosing up on shrooms and getting the fuck out of here. Okay, bye everyone. Look at me go. Spider ain't got shit on this movement deck. <laughs> Goodbye. Most normal pipe yard situation. <laughs> At least the food responds. Spider is still fucking here. Get out of here, spider. Uh. Okay, mushroom first, and then we deal with that bullshit. That's the plan. Wait. Boing. No, 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 this is what happened last time. If that lizard sees you, you just die. That seems to be the case. Okay, I have like no fucking karma left now. I don't know. There's there's nothing to do but keep trying. This 
is how movement works. I can go back to the scav zone. Delicious pearls. in the way. Can I? Oh. The pearl. That did not uh, even get close to the spider. Is, is, is that even a spider? There was a spider there. Oh, the spider just moved. Okay, it's, it's just not here anymore. Uh... He's coming. Okay, Cyan Lizard, fight the spider. Very cool. You can't see me. Why can't I grab that? I don't need the pearls, never mind the pearls. Oh, okay. Maybe I do go back for the pearls? Fuck it. Greed, 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 greed. Oh, it didn't work, Chad. It didn't work. It didn't work. It's not greed, it's, uh, really I want to, those pearls so I can gift them to the scavengers. It's a gift. Okay, I'm just gonna have to commit to just not having karma anymore and finding some way through that requires me to sleep at one shelter, and that's it. Uh, how much karma does the Sky Island Gate need? In the, in the first place. That's sort of vaguely where I'm trying to get to. What is that? That's a scavenger. You can't really do shit to me without a spear though, so whatever. That guy is a spear. Uh-oh. Ow. Okay, the situation is resolved. Um, have to get through this gauntlet again, though. Um, flying centipedes haven't been a problem yet, but they could decide to start being one. Why are there so many of them? What's the point of having all these centipedes? Strawberry lizard is in that pipe there. That's bad. Dose up. It's the only way. That actually kind of helped, I think. <laughs> the lizard is bearing down on me and I just had to like cram a psychedelic mushroom in my mouth at the last second as a survival tactic. Like what the fuck? We ballin'. Oh yeah, my tongue went through there so I know where the pipe entrance is. Nice. Um, can I please go into that? Wait, no, that was a glitch? There is actually no gap in that wall and my tongue just went through for no reason. Cool. Okay, the food situation is looking good at least. Um, the heat situation is not so much. Also, where do I go? This is a dead end. 
can I go down here? Oh, I can. It's a shelter. All right. That's finally some good news. That's the first time literally anything nice has happened in quite a while. Social credit is on the rise. They're making progress toward a goal. Slurp. Does this really lead to industrial? I, I thought an industrial was like far to the uh, the right of me at this point. I'm confused as how this leads back there. Food is already maxed. Ah, uh, scavengers, okay. Uh, this is a really bad place to encounter scavs. I'm gonna try to juke them out in the pipe here if that's possible. There's two of them though. Can they just go a direction? Like what are they all doing here? they can snipe you as you're still in a pipe. Oh my god. This is kind of an impassable roadblock as long as they're here. Like, I, I cannot safely get through this section with them aggroed on me. And there's three of them. So unless they all come through this pipe, I can't really get past. I'm just going to try going a different fucking way. Give them items. I don't have any items. There are none available. And there's the strawberry who's going to kill me. Okay. Time to leave. Uh, these guys are still fucking here. That one's holding a grenade, which I can't use to immediately kill me in close quarters. Maybe I just fucking YOLO it? I don't know. I can hit them with rocks if I really need to. Okay, that guy is camping the tunnel. I might have a spear. He's only holding a lantern, actually. As long as I can stay below or above them, they can't hit me is the thing. Screen, please? Screen scroll? Uh, okay. It's working. Progress is being made. What? What is this? What is What is up here for? It's nothing. Why did the music stop? <laughs> That's spooky. Alright, miraculously I have not been killed by scabs. I have just enough karma, and there's a scab on the other side waiting to, like, murk me, I think. Okay, we're engaging the safety features. I can't grapple that, apparently. It's a standoff. I'm going for it. Uh, I want the scav to go somewhere fucking else. Like maybe back through here. What is he doing? He could just kill me on a moment's notice. I don't trust him. 
He's not going anywhere. Fuck it. I have to... Oh, yeah, he tried. He just wanted to go down, but he was, like, waiting for me somehow. What a doofus. Um, is food more valuable than rocks? It might be. Uh, okay, well, what the fuck am I even holding? Nothing. Why, why can't I pick up the fruit? I'm not holding anything. There we go. Scabs have been sketched this cycle. So is this industrial then? I don't know what fucking part of industrial this is, but... Industrial is not the most horrible to, to navigate. Outskirts is pretty bad though. Like hard mode outskirts is no fun. AC monument. Maybe I do want a rock. I've rapidly changed my mind. I want to have a rock. Oh, bad. That's bad. Are you gonna come through? Thank you. There's another one. Great. is this area? Where am I? Oh, is this the big tower? How did I get up here? This is where the pearl was, maybe? I don't know why else you'd have to come up there ever. Oh, that was a broadcast of Spearmaster. Interesting. Yeah, I think I remember this area a bit, actually. I remember coming here the opposite direction. That's bad. Uh... Wait. No, take the high road, please. Flying centipede. Uh, okay. I guess I'm going up. I don't really want to go up. Never mind. Uh, are they gonna finish what they're doing sometime? The lizard wants to take the centipede to the, its den, right? So how about it does that and stops doing whatever the fuck this is for a sec? It's, it's not even that I think the lizard would, would bite me, it's that it's physically blocking the path. Like, I don't- I think I just get stuck. Fuck this. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Uh, okay, I know where this is. This is the beginning of the area. Perfect. Oh, they deleted that fucking shelter, didn't they? Yeah, they just deleted it. Great. Uh, okay. Where is the alternative to that, then? They're down here now. Perfect. Very cool. Does he even just fucking let me through? Yeah, where's the next shelter, if not there? Oh, I know this one, yeah. Sheer Ice Torrent. It's a real banger. Uh, 
And if I go far enough to the right, there's a shelter for sure. Like the one by uh, the entrance to Shaded, basically. There's also a red lizard here, though, isn't there? Wasn't that a thing? Oh, dear. This might be the red lizard chamber. Don't like that. There's no red lizard right at the moment, though. Uh, this seems like a fine way to go. It's a bit of a long way, but, like, there's not usually any terrible obstacles here. Oh. Oh, hi. There's apparently scavengers living here, but they're not physically present, which is excellent. Okay, that's progress. Yeah, I know there's another shelter to the left somewhere, but I... I couldn't specifically remember the route to it, and so this was just a safer option. Wom. And as an added bonus, this lets me theoretically karma farm on the way back, so I can rest at that same shelter. It's hard to get any momentum here. Not much clearance. Ooh, the fruit. The Saint exclusive fruit. Gotta get him. Uh, careful now. Yummy. So now it's as simple as going back through. <laughs> it would have been way faster to do this in the start, by the way. Um, that is, unless... I'm not actually sure I could have traversed Shaded Citadel without going back through Garbage Waste, so maybe it's not... It wouldn't have made that much of a difference, but... I wouldn't have died so many times in Garbage Wastes to come back directly the way I got to uh, Shoreline in the first place. So much food here. Crazy amounts of food. Um, oh, there's the red. Oh, this sucks. Wait, I saw a projectile. Where is the red lizard? That's be eating a mouse. So it's probably safe for the moment. Um... Oh, that was a scav bomb? Oops. <laughs> I didn't realize what I was looking at. In some ways that's less scary than a red lizard, but in some ways it's also more scary. Um, I just want to go back to outskirts. Just directly back to outskirts. If I can get through that gate, there's not really much of an issue. Uh, okay, that's bad. Uh, yep. I'm just gonna stay up here for a hot second. There's like ten of them. That's the most lizards I've ever seen. Uh, bring the pearl for the toll? Not a bad idea. That's uh, an X-colored pearl. Shame to give it to the scabs.
Is this valid progress? Ooh, I don't like that. Okay. I'm out. I need to, uh... There we go. The shelter's very close after the gate, it's just the outskirts shelter. <laughs> Holy Ash has one more use. That it do. Pebbles really ain't using much Holy Ash nowadays. Pebbles wishes he had Holy Ash to do silly rituals with. It's a little bit non-trivial to get back to the shelter because they put lizards in the way and shit. Um, okay, this is pretty bad actually. It, it's too tight of a and space to really get over them. And the flying centipede's gonna eventually aggro and eat me. Uh, just go quick. No, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. All I had to do was get in that little pipe and I fucked it up. Uh... Scav fight, scav fight, go. Kill each other, perfect. Lizard's coming back through. Don't want it. Woohoo! It was a daring escape there, but it worked. It's up here. There we go. The classic shelter. Sleepy time. Did you know, by the way, that the, the alpha orange lizard, the one that makes all the rules, isn't the one with the longest horns, slash antenna. Apparently it's actually random, and it's just like a... The, the leader is the one with the highest dominance stat, which is not visible. <laughs> it's very silly. That was in some uh, big lizard video that I watched about Rain World. Do you have a lantern in order to pick up Pebbles Pearls? What do you mean? I have a lantern in my stomach, but I don't, I don't know what that has to do with five pebbles pearls. Okay, fuck this, fuck this guy. You wish lizards were in the real world. Me too. The only lizards where I live are an invasive species that are harming the local wildlife. Uh, okay. Uh, centipede here. Bye bye. What species? I don't know. They're small and very fast. They hide under rocks and logs and things and run away if you discover them. That describes all lizards. What do you want me to say? I don't know the, the species name. So they're just lizards. They're small lizards. Um, I think this is the way to farm arrays. There's a big fucking centipede in the way. By the looks of it. Which I don't like. Eh... Uh, really bad actually. It's stuck? I can't even tell not the way. This is the way. Wait, it's up and left. I thought you could get through it this way. I don't really want to go past that centipede regardless. Uh, 
okay. <laughs> okay, lizards, just do your thing. Jesus. I'm gonna be up here. Bye bye. Uh, this room. Okay. Ooh! Check it out. I want that. Nom nom nom. I could eat one more food, but the fucking centipede might aggro. I'm really going somewhere now. Oh yeah, this is... Yeah, I remember there being a big pit on the way to the farm arrays, but there was like a different pit. There's multiple to choose from. Uh, and this whole area isn't looking best, I gotta say. Ooh, funny music. Uh... Uh, uh, uh no! I don't want to be in either of these rooms. Okay, this, this calls for... You guessed it. Dosen. Oh, yeah. Scotland forever. Huffing paint thinner makes you invincible. <laughs> it actually works. It always works. Oops, I meant to throw the pearl. What I meant to do is throw the pearl. <laughs> Can I go? Can I come through? Yes. Okay, bye. Okay, they were fine with it. We're chill. Better enjoy the fucking holy ash pearl, guys. Wait, can I just like... You left these lying here. You want these too? Their friendship. Oh, they're gonna take those as payment, not tribute? Is that your pearl or something? You can fucking keep it, I don't want it. Go away. Go away. I'm in kill range if I go for that pipe. I need him to move first. Are you gonna do something, dude? Come the fuck on. I gotta... fuck it. Oh dear. Well... Uh... Yeah, that's not gonna work. He, he did try to kill me. What is he doing here? He's just camping me. Yeah, the guys at the gate are fine, but this dude is just gonna try to snipe me. God damn it. They're pointing? Oh, he says come through, okay. That's good. There's a free grenade here, by the way, nice. I'm curious if I can use the grenade. I just have to know, okay? Oh, you sure can. That doesn't go very far, but you can use it. I probably should use that on the two caramel lizards blocking the way back. Uh, huh. This might be a problem. They're... Oh... Can I just, like, stay up here? Jesus Christ, like, no. Okay, we're going through. Hi, everyone. Somehow I did not die. Uh, yoink. Yep. This is stupid. I have to, like, get to a shelter somehow. Is this a death pit? Nope. 
Well, it kind of is. It's got worm grass eating a flying centipede. I guess that's not too much of a problem. Uh, I got food. That's cool. There's a caramel lizard blocking the exit. Can't use that. And I can't really get past the caramel lizard. Uh, okay, this is silly. <laughs> what the fuck? Was there a red lizard down there the whole time? Since when can those guys jump? I didn't know they could do that. So that's where the red lizard is. Uh, I have to get to five karma here. And that's going to be um, probably not as hard as in the fucking uh, the other place. But it's not going to be easy. Um, I got the pearl back. That's something. Oh. Oh wait, I had a karma flower though, so I didn't lose I didn't lose karma. Okay, that's actually excellent. This isn't that big of a loss. As long as I can find food on this cycle. Oh, this is nice. Rainbow. I can go back to the to the uh, tutorial. There's food there. There's lots of food, wow. Oh, shit. Uh, he can probably get me from up here. I'm just going to juke him out. Easiest option. Are you coming? Why isn't he coming? You left. All right. Oh, I'm full. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to head right back to the shelter and not fuck with any of this. Oh, that's the same room. Wait a minute. That red lizard jump was stupid. I didn't know they could jump. Are they supposed to be able to jump or is that a physics bug? Okay, sleepy time. It's a physics bug. Great. Because I didn't even see it. It was being eaten by the worm grass, then it just spontaneously bounced out of there. I guess it was compressed. It was like elastic. Okay. Some good karma and a karma flower. So shit's looking up. Um, I need to get a couple more food on the way there, otherwise I'm not going to be able to rest after I get past the toll, but that's not so much of a problem. I think food is available in this area. Okay, there's the orange lizards to deal with first, but they're all down there, I think? They are, okay. Then the centipede zone. And then the caramel lizards and the cyan lizard. And then the scavs themselves. Okay, centipede zone is fine this time, it seems. Uh, kind of non-threatening centipede zone. Here's our free food. Uh, okay, not, not that free. Less free. Not a bad juke, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna wanna eat these. Perfect, get the brick back. Get out of here. Okay, going well so far. This is not the best, but the centipedes aren't a threat until 
We stay in the same room for a while. Okay, get up here. Centipede. Yucky. Go down. How does Saint eat with his tongue out? Uh, I wondered about this last time. The consensus was just that he has a very good control over his gag reflex. Okay, yeah, this is just as fucked as last time. But they went through the pipe. I'm saved. Okay, make sure the pearl is equipped so you don't throw a rock at the scavs. It's working out so far. Scavs, just don't kill me on sight, please. I'd love that if you didn't kill me on sight. Wave me through. Yep, we're good. There's a caramel lizard. Uh, can you fight that for me? Thanks, bye. <laughs> okay, see you later. <laughs> it's right behind them as they're waving me through. Just a fucking caramel lizard. Does free passage include, like, removing that? That would be nice. Uh, I'm gonna grab another pearl in case I see another one of those guys. And I'm through. Still not safe. I still need to rest at a shelter. But so far, so good. If I give a pearl to those guys at the gate, apparently it counts as payment and not uh, a gift, so it doesn't really get much reputation. It's been three hours with no tangible progress, by the way, but uh, I'm sure soon we'll eventually get to an echo. This is worse than the Pearl Quest. Ah, the echo thing. It's here. The echo is all the way, by the way, at the end of the farmer rays, so I have to traverse the entire area anyway. More tea, though. Wait, Farmer Ray's Echo is right by the entrance? People kept telling me. Oh, right, because, yeah, so, no, that was the outcome, was that the one in the pit was the subterranean echo, so actually this is, it's a better situation than I thought. It's very counterintuitive to me that the subterranean echo is right in that pit there. It's like barely subterranean. You can almost see the sky still. Okay, do I need to... I don't probably don't really need squid cadas in this zone, because I have hung uh, centipedes. Oh, oh, he's, he was right on me. That usually doesn't happen with the flying ones. But I remember farmer rays. Do we guide? I mean, if it's that close, I'll just look around. Someone said... Oh, this is bad. Someone said earlier that there is actually a lore pearl here, uh, which is fucked. I don't know where that could be, but if I find it, I'll, um, I'll bring it back, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm not really going to get through there, I think. There is another way to go down there. That might be like a hidden pipe that the map is telling me about. For some reason, the map shows you hidden pipe entrances. There's worm grass at the bottom of these. Oh no, it's that's a, a visible pipe. This seems to be where the echo is actually, because the uh, screen's going all blurry and shit. And I can use those definitely pacifist viable spore pods to uh, completely wipe the centipedes off the face of the earth if I want. Yo, dude, hear me out. Commune with the the ghosts uh, while high on shrooms. Fucking dope. That's like my idea of a party. Talk to the hungry ghosts while on psilocybin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Why is it? Oh yeah, I'm feeling it now. This long forgotten place beckons me, drawn by a certain presence. 
The dialogue is scrolling slower because I had the mushroom. <laughs> the fields here are not as I remember. Who much has changed. But by forfeiting similarities, perhaps something new is gained. Despite all, this site still has not revealed the entirety of its secrets. Perhaps that is the reason for my continued imprisonment. That was kind of a weird message. Was he, was he just like telling me to go find the pearl? That doesn't seem like a normal echo thing to say. That's like, there's more secrets to this area in the game, wink wink. Kind of weird. I got the peace sign, nice. He's just commenting on the passage of time. That is, that's one way to read it. But like, this zone has not forfeit its secrets? That's like a very <laughs> specific way to... Fr oh, it crashed. The game crashed. Uh, I might have to find the echo again, but that's... That's not going to take very long. This game does crash more than Yeek, so that's one thing I'll... <laughs> one positive thing I can say about Yeek is that it crashes slightly less than Rain World. It still has the karma gain, actually. And it reset me. Okay, so that's actually... That's no loss in progress at all. Um, I kind of want to go back anyway to get some insecticide, though, <laughs> to uh, non-violently uh, commit genocide against the centipedes blocking the path up there. Warp. Uh, how do I... Oh. Never mind, that's not a valid path. That's actually like a hint that you can go down here, I think. Is if you went um, through that upper path and then saw that there was another way available. You'd be like, ooh, I can go down to the Echo. Uh, but I don't know how to access that upper path in the first place. You're not killing them, you're just making them forget how to breathe. Exactly. Exactly how I would look at it. Okay, they're in a slightly better spot this time. Previously, it was just literally in the way, as this one now is, still. Okay, I, if I can just climb a bit higher, I can very easily... Fuck. These ladders are so awkward, that they never get less awkward to traverse. Okay, no shortage of centipedes. They got the yeeks here. Speaking of yeek, we got lots. Um, if I just spam the tongue, surely I will prevail. Uh, oh, oh, that was fucking. I forgot those aggroed. I thought you had to throw them, but no, they just. Ow, that looks really painful. <laughs> I'm fine. Have I ever had weed or LSD in real life? Um, not to an extent worth talking about. I've actually never tried psychedelics, I can say. Although it's... It seems rather common where I live. Most people I knew at school had uh, tried like LSD at some point. Om nom nom. Oh, I think I already had the karma flower effect, but I forgot about it. Huh. That's a spider in the way. I'm just gonna have to hope. Hope and pray. Oh. Uh, spider is just like camping right where I'm gonna pounce. It knows. How does it know? How do you know, spider? Are you calculating my trajectory? Okay, whatever. I got bored. Oh wait, this is the uh, the way up that you take if you if you ride the reindeer. I don't think I can get past here without dying, probably. 
psychedelics freak Molly out. You don't know if you could survive those. Yeah, they're not something I'm really keen to experiment with because I've known people who are into psychedelics and that like really, it kind of, I don't know, you can get into them in a way that isn't the best. I don't know. They're not addictive, but like, uh, I can't really describe it. It's just not something I really feel any need to fuck with. Um, this guy is just here. Okay. Okay, a centipede gauntlet. Once more. Oh. Dude, what do you do about this? Why did they put this room here? Why do they all instantly aggro on you? <laughs> it's the image of Jerma holding out his hand saying, let's take ibuprofen together. See, this is not good. I really hate that centipede room. It's just like an early kind of roadblock. It's like a, it's like the level one jail in the Castlevania speed run. You just have to get past the, the stupid room and then you, you're allowed to explore the farmer is. How goes Rain World? We're finally making a bit of progress after three hours. Found one more echo, and there's another echo at the end of the farm arrays that I'm going to see now. Uh, fucking, okay. That's what the pearl was for. I tried to hit him with a rock, but I forgot that I had a pearl, so it worked out ideally. <laughs> uh, is this guy not going to kill me because I gave him a pearl? I don't know. Okay, we got the pain cones, we got the yeek, we got all the shit, it's not good. Okay, remember this time not to be eaten by the beehive. Uh, what even happened to me last time? Because you go through here and then you're just in the room that you can't get through anyway. I think I have to go to the right? Oh, fuck. That's bad. They put me out of range of the worm grass. That's nice. Go left. I can't go left. There's a staircase of worm grass that's going to kill me. Unless I can go through this and it's like a hidden entrance. But no. Use the yeek. Oh. Oh, I forgot those had a use. Uh, okay, where's the yeek gone though? I don't see it anymore. He's in there. Uh... Oh, this is the, um, the spore room. I have the yeek, by the way. I guess I can just go back. <clears throat> it's yeeking time. Oh, yes, this is the yeek. Wait. Ah, for fuck's sake. That time, the flying centipede aggro. Just that time. Okay, back through the centipede zone, we go. Two centipedes for the price of one. Good Kate is all froze to death, by the way, just noticed that. 
you roll pounce, you don't need a reindeer. That's going down. I've seen people go down that staircase without a reindeer. Going up, you can't do that. Okay, this time it didn't spawn any centipedes. You love to see it. It just didn't spawn them. Uh, yeek. Okay. Can I have that? Oh, fuck. Is that vulture gonna get pain coned? It's too powerful, I think. <clears throat> if it gets the centipede, though, that'll help me out. Oh, wait. The yeek got eaten by the fucking worm grass? Oh, no, I saved it. That was just jank. Uh, it's really hard to move with both the yeek and the tongue. It's it's very strange. I have to activate the pain cone somehow. Aggro? It's aggroing? Okay. Maybe I just go past it really fast. Yeah, you can just go fast. Okay, sure. Um... Hold on a sec while I eat. Don't kill yourself, please. Yeah. God, these guys suck. <laughs> I'm glad they exist, though. I smell nice. Thank you. I do bathe occasionally. It's my secret. So, yeah... Jumping with the yeek can kind of, it seems, escape the- oh my god, this is fucked. The screen transition is not helping here. Is this intended? This is so stupid. Like, this sucks. <laughs> uh, it works. That was like a fucking glitch, though. Okay, can I get rid of the yeek now? I really don't like having it. It's annoying. Okay, this is the red worm grass, I think, which I'm not going to survive. Um, okay, the yeek. I'm just going to release it into the wild here. Have fun. It's very stretchy. This is where the pearl was that I spent a fucking year trying to get, and I kept killing myself with, like, bomb jumps and stuff. Not so hard with the saint. Come on. Oh! This one isn't white. Holy shit. That's significant, actually. Uh, why is that one? But I've already read that pearl is the thing. I know it's in that one. That's like talking about the shipment of apple juice or something. Uh, I guess I'll take it, though. Interesting. There's a shelter up here, too. It's different now. Oh, okay. That's going to be fun to lug all, all the way back to Moon. I have to go back. God damn it. The whole first stream was just like getting there. Go to sub then shoreline? Would it not just be way faster to go through the normal way? Like garbage wastes again? I wasted a whole bunch of time trying to go through sub originally. I don't want to do that again. You just slightly turn down the warm tint on the monitor, and I don't immediately feel like my eyes are disintegrating. <laughs> You're winning the fight against John Cold. I'm not sure what the warm tint knob does. That's a CRT thing, right? You're fully reveling in the glory of your cathode ray tubes right now. The slapstick comedy stream. I feel like there have been goofier interactions on in previous streams, but I don't know. If there's any streams that I want to do like a highlight of, I feel like it would be these ones because so much of them are dead air. They'd really benefit from like um, a highlights edit, but I don't know if I can justify the time to do that. There's a million things that I want to work on that I don't have time to do already. Take a spore pod non-lethally murdered the centipedes. 
It's the night light setting on the windows that uh, I just have enabled. You don't want the blue light to explode me. Oh, I see, yeah. I've had a piss filter in my monitors for a long time now, actually. To the extent that I no longer even notice it, but like I have pretty much all the blue light removed from my screen at all times. Because it was, I was getting eye strain pretty much, and I just didn't like that. You do eventually stop noticing it, though, which is which is nice. I was briefly worried about like. I'm not like a digital artist. If, if you're doing digital art, it'd probably be a bad idea to have a piss filter on because you can't see the real colors, but just for like photoshopping stuff and video editing, it really isn't relevant. You're, I'm not really color correcting any of my video because none of it's actual like live action footage. Okay, so which way was it to the end? I had to go past the, the red worm grass gauntlet, which I mean, I can use the spore pod for anyway. You need the blue light to do something like commissions? Yeah, exactly. So you need to have it on sometimes. Oh, here we go. Um, this is where I can summon a deer if I don't... If I haven't forgotten. This should work. Theoretically, the reindeer have their own ideas sometimes. What's up here, by the way? Nothing. Okay. If the reindeer comes up here, then I can uh, jump on its back or something. That's the idea. Meanwhile, I'm just going to be freezing to death. Bro lives in the piss. I was born in the piss. The deer is not <laughs> coming anytime soon, it seems. Reindeer suck. Well, how would they suck more? What would make them actually suck more than they already do? Is it just because you freeze to death if you wait? That's probably it. Just run left, but... Oh, the worm grass is blue. You're not wrong. I think I can just survive this. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. It's here. And the worm grass is killing me. <gasps> I got it. Oh, yep. We're in. We're in, baby. Now I just have to uh, hope that it moves to the left before I die. We are on a timer here. Um, yeah, pretty much. Look at this creature, by the way. Are you sure, Molly? I feel like this creature will appeal to you. <laughs> it's got a lot of personality. Very large body, very few brain cells. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. I love reindeer. Yeah, it's like a rabbit deer with spider legs. Oh, they worm you up because they're woolly? Oh, that's so cool, actually, but it's also not warming me up. I'm still dying of the cold. It's literally you. Me, IRL. It's going to face plant again because it doesn't know how to walk in water, apparently. Oh, no, it figured it out. We're good. Okay, thank you, Mr. Reindeer. Very nice. Bye. Watch me immediately die to a centipede or something. Wait, but I can non-violently kill them with the spore pods. I forgot about that. Uh, I do actually have enough food, miraculously. Before I, when I first got here as Survivor, I had to like starve and then had a whole scary cycle where I... I forget if I pulled it off or not. I think I may have actually saved it. It was a whole fucking experience, though. I had to go through a room full of uh, orange lizards fighting a noodle fly. Crazy. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to take um, one of these for security. I made it as the rain was starting. Yeah. It was some thug-ass gangster shit. I also had a really hard time getting onto this platform. Let's see if it's still hard, by the way. Wait, wait, is there something in there? Oh, it's just centipedes. I'm just gonna play it safe and sleep. There is no rain. I know there's no rain. But you never know when something's gonna flop out of a pipe and murk you. Okay. Is this the level before Max Karma, by the way? I swear I've noticed that the other Skugs have, like, different... Like, once you go above 5, I swear the Karma symbols are different depending on who you're playing, which is very strange. That's true, huh. I wonder why. That's a very strange detail. Does that mean, like, Enlightenment is a, a different path depending on who you're playing as or something esoteric like that? Mercedes-Benz comes before the Twitter. I see. But, no, I mean, like, the Max Karma is different. Like, I swear the one before Max Karma was, like, three diagonal lines in a circle, whereas now it's just three diagonal lines in a different pattern. Wait, all the symbols changed based on your max karma? That's fucking weird. Um, I'm not totally sure we're talking about the same thing, but it's it's too hard to communicate, so I'll give up. Uh, is this a dead end or what? Uh, no, oh. This room is fucked, by the way. What is happening? There's like 20 spiders. Why did they need this many spiders? I have the insecticide pod. All right. I no longer have the insecticide pod. The spitter was the most dangerous anyway, though. I can just YOLO it. Whee! Pacifism failed successfully. Take the hidden pipe is hidden, so I can't take it. That's just how it be. Um, okay, I'm getting pushed back through by 50 centipedes and a scavenger. Nice. I can restock on insecticide. Love to see it. Wiggy? Oh. That that's a pebbles. What the fuck are you doing here? Why is five pebbles observing me here? Assuming he still even has connection to those. That's weird. Uh, oh, okay, that's not gonna work. He can't control them anymore. Uh, there's probably, is there another shelter in there? Because I think I might need to do the whole reindeer song and dance again to get past. I'll check the right side. Wiggy is free, independent, I see. Yeah, Moon couldn't control hers either, right. Um... This is also red worm grass. Oh, and nothing. So I just have to do the reindeer thing. <gasps> Hi, speaking of which, how you doing? You want to go the uh, other direction? Please go the other direction. I'd love that. Uh, no, 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 no. Can I, um... Mm. I try to throw the spore pod the other way, but I don't think I can do that without falling off. There's no screen scroll there. Okay, where's this guy taking me? Is this back to the beginning? I don't know if I've been this way before. This is the wrong way. Well, if worse comes to worse, I can just kill myself. 
Can I just like wiggle until it turns around maybe? Oh. It worked, but I also jumped off of it. And now I'm going to die. That's fine. No, I jumped off. I just jumped off right as it started screaming, so it looked like I did something to it. Okay. Um, it really is too bad you can't use Passage as a saint, by the way. That would be a really convenient way to get all the way back to the other side of the map. I don't know why you, why you can't use Passages as saint either. It's not really clear. I haven't even tried it yet. Maybe I will see what happens. Uh, yeah, this room really, really sucks. I think they just want you to have a spore pod to pacify the creatures here. Uh, okay, the scabs hopefully don't want to kill me anymore because I'm being tranquilized by a spider. No, they still wanted to kill me. Okay. Wait, that's a centipede. Close call. What, this dude's fucking here. How did you get there? Why are you aggroed on me still? I gave you a pearl. I literally gave you a pearl. I think I traded the spore pod with them actually, which is fine because I have a large supply just over there. It, no, I have the pink pearl. I'm still holding it. What's your progress since pipe yard? Well, I found the farm arrays echo and now I'm proceeding to the end of farm arrays to access the subterranean echo in the pit. I'm pretty close. I just need to get past one more reindeer segment. God, you can't see shit here. Okay. Yeah, also I have the only colored pearl remaining in the world, apparently. I don't know why this one still has color, and I don't know why its dialogue is different, but chat says the dialogue is different, so I gotta bring it back. It's just that this room kind of sucks, and if I use the spore pod here... No, there's a way to get another one afterward, I think, anyway, for the reindeer. I mean, the, the pearl could have the same data, but moon... Where are the spiders, by the way? There's 20 spiders in this room, and I see none of them. Where did they go? Ah, there's your answer. Okay, I think I avoided the trink darts. Poof. Serves you right. Okay. Oh no, there's another one. Even if you escape the spiders, you don't escape the spiders. That's how many spiders there are in this room. There was one just waiting at the exit to ambush me. Am I dead yet? Oh yeah. Fucking centipede is stuck to me. If there was ever room to use like a, a fucking singularity bomb in, that's the one. I want to come back here as Gourmand and make a singularity bomb. But the room isn't the same as Gourmand, of course, but you know.
The subterranean exit skips the pearl section. Well, uh, if you want to see how the subterranean exit plan worked, then go back uh, two hours in the stream to when I was still trying to do that. Um, I don't think skipping the reindeer is quite worth it. If I could just get all the spiders to be in one place. Oh, it killed me before I could even throw the pod. That's cool. This is a fucking joy. Why can't I use my tongue? There we go. Up and left. There is no way to go. Like, I've already been through this area. Like, I don't need guidance. Like, you go up here, and then you go across here. I know what the goal is. Knowing the goal does not help me survive the 20 spiders room. Oh yeah, would a flashbang be even better to kill these guys? I don't know how to acquire a flashbang at the moment, but I think spiders are weak to that. Okay, just... I threw the pearl at him? Okay, kinda worked. Uh, this, this is bad. This is really bad. Holy shit. This is fucking ridiculous. Go in the pipe. Before passing out, just go in the pipe. They're so fast, like you just can't avoid them. They're, they're just, they're so fast. Jesus. Why do the scavengers spawn in my shelter, by the way? That does not make sense. Hold the lantern to scare them? That's not a bad idea. Actually, not a bad idea. Um, it'll take a bit of inventory management, though. All right, that might help. They can spawn in your shelter if you have good rep. I certainly don't. They want to kill me on sight. Uh, this might be a good spot to deploy the grenade. Oops. The problem is by the time they're even in your line of sight, they can already be killing you. And they move so quickly that they only group up for split seconds at a time. Okay, that guy's in the pipe. Here's my chance. You can get through so quickly, but they can still kill you. It's nuts. Like, even the, the two seconds it takes to cross the room is so dangerous. Okay, we did it though. Excellent. Oh, wait, that's convenient. I want that. I don't even need to use the uh, the funny tech to get him to kneel down. Wait, no, come back, come back, come back. Take this. You want this, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He's really struggling to eat it. There, oh, no. Okay, you got three brain cells to align for a second there. Perfect. Okay, we, we, you gonna go? Please activate. Oh. Very cool. Okay, we're doing it. It's working. This is the end of the area if I can get past this one gauntlet of grass. 
Yeah, the grass has not died. It's still uh, here in full force. Look at me go. Can I get up there, by the way? I could steal the pearls off of that scav monument if I really tried with the tongue, probably. This is so goofy. Just don't belly flop me into the worm grass, please. It's happening. I can share body heat with it. Oh yeah, I'm getting incubated. Check this out. <laughs> Just brought it's okay, bye. Watch, they just put like a random centipede in this room to kill me. Wouldn't put it past them. Um, Is that a yeek? Okay, those are fine. Gooey duck. Ooh, I need that actually. That's important. I forgot about needing food and all that. They were engineered, they are talking about the reindeer, they were engineered by ancients to eat spore puffs so when they pooped on the crops it would uh, be an insecticide. That's really funny, but also, I don't know if it makes any sense, like why wouldn't you just directly apply the insecticide? But also, those ancients were kind of silly sometimes, I don't know. Uh, oh, I need to go through a gate just to get in here? I guess that's why, why it counts as a subterranean. Wait a minute. This is a big brain play. If I rest here and then see the echo, it's going to teleport me back through the gate and I don't have to do the whole uh, rigmarole of getting back through. It was the custom at the time. You feed the insecticide to 30 foot tall giraffes who shit on your crops. The song sounds like the Aphex Twin one used for the DJ Khaled video. I don't know what you're talking about, but it... You mean like r Rhubarb, maybe? That's the only Aphex Twin song I know, because it's on those, like, uh, music to sleep to compilations, basically. Or maybe Stone in Focus? I'm not sure. Then there's the, the Boards of Canada one called Etchus, which is uh, similar. I nearly death spiraled so hard that I uh, I couldn't get through the gate, by the way. That would have been a disaster. What do you even do here if you can't get through, like, how do you grind karma here without going back through the worm grass? Um, and I'm not playing the song on stream, by the way. I had a recent experience with, um, the Glitch Tail Watch Party VOD. I tried to upload that, and, uh, the entire thing was blocked worldwide because I played, uh, a Kill the Kill song for, like, 30 seconds in it, so... There's popcorn? Oh yeah, there might have been popcorn. Uh, here we go, though. This is it. This is the goal. So I'm gonna have to like re-upload the entire eight hour video after cutting out that section. Here we go. A little beast. Come to join me in this great undoing. The old world will soon vanish, wiped from history to pave a path for the dawning of a new era. How many have been consumed so far? We were the tenth civilization or the thousandth, were we, that is. Amusingly, they thought their small struggles bore such great significance. All was not but to serve the void. Are we maxing? Karma maxing? 
Yeah, the, the Echo's mindsets change. I maxed. Yeah, the lower symbols also change. That's so fucking confusing. Why would they do that? That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Anyway. We are now a saint with maximum karma. I have a feeling something's going to happen. Yeah, he's T-posing and his eyes are glowing. That's how you know. Looks like enlightenment to me, baby. Super saint. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, so can I shoot lasers or something now? I can eat this gooey duck at least. While in the air, tap a jump and pick up together to fly? <laughs> Wait, so it's like the artificer? Oh my god. Wait, I- he just flies now. Okay, can I- <laughs> Hold throw and directional inputs while flying to perform an ascension. <laughs> oh? You've turned down the- okay, Molly's turned down the tint. We're so back. Alright, excellent. Also, um... I can fly now? <laughs> Alright. How- Row and directional inputs while flying to perform ascension. Okay. What does that look like in practice? It's kind of hard. Was it throw? Oh. What? <laughs> it appears that I... What if I do that to the scavenger? <laughs> what happens? I don't know how the fuck to target it is the problem, but like... It doesn't do anything? Oh my god. Did I just remove his soul? <laughs> I mean, if ascension means what I think it means, that guy is deleted. <laughs> Wait, I can delete them. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is that the triple affirmative? That looks like some triple affirmative shit to me. Let's see. So a solution has been found for global ascension. The solution is portable. I'm a swinging I'm swinging around currently. I'm very portable. And the solution as a general implementation. Well, the implementation is self-evident because I already am the solution. And at the same time, at the same time that I have achieved the triple affirmative in Rain World, apparently Timeless has gotten a sub six minute any percent run on the RAM speedrunning marathon. Show it out to Timeless, the sub six minute world's first. Great history has been made today, holy shit. <laughs> Fucking bruh. Okay, this is intense. Uh, okay, well at the bare minimum, being able to fly and, and kill people with my mind <laughs> should make getting back a bit easier. Oh, hi there. Can I ascend the reindeer? Like, I'm not going to. Because I want to get back, but also, like, that would be really fucking funny to ascend the reindeer. Oh my god, I can kill it. Do it. Within this universe, it's it's considered morally desirable to kill absolutely everything. Should I do that? Is that now the goal? Do I just ascend everything on my path? This this becomes this literally has become Everhood. That's kind of an Everhood spoiler, but like it's the same thing. Cool graffiti, by the way. I can fly over the grass. Ascend the grass? It's worth a fucking shot. The grass does not seem to uh, ascend. It makes the gooey duck opening sound if you miss, by the way. Oh my fuck. I just killed that creature. 
Grass is not a creature. Sure it is. Maybe the grass is already ascended because it has no desire. Maybe that's it. Uh, yep, yeah, the deer is dead. But we're killing everything in like a good way now. Is the weird part? I can really just fly. Like my, I can I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm the same. This is nuts. Yeah, it, it not only removes their souls from their bodies directly and permanently, but it, it sends them fucking flying. Like, it really just boots them into the stratosphere. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Well, the body can nourish the grass. That's fine. That's some pacifist shit right there. Uh, and now I can... It works just like the artificer jump, but it's, like, better somehow. Nuts. Ascend Wiggy? Is it alive? I'm just like killing shit. For fun now. D do those things experience the cycle? I. This is raising too many moral questions to deal with. I think all I really want to do now is just achieve the genocide route though. Like, literally. Uh, can I ascend the centipede? The little baby centipede. Yep. Oh, that missed. Kara's gonna meet me in the void seed for real. Uh, so I can just snipe all these spiders through the wall with psychic blasts now, which is a little bit better than insecticide maybe even. There are other things I can ascend. Yeah, obviously I'm gonna go back and ascend the fucking iterators. That's what this is building toward. Um, but like... Also... Spiders. Uh, I need to be flying to do it though, which is a bit, a bit difficult sometimes. In a pipe, can I send things in pipes? Is that just not possible? Oh, there's a range to it. Interesting. My mind blast has a limited range. If you ascend things, they don't respawn. That's so fucked up. That's like such a cool way of showing it off. It, it still doesn't really... The cycle's not gonna make sense that easily, I think, but uh, it's still very cool. Um, I guess the spiders are hiding from me because they know I can kill them with my brain now. This sounds like the Boards of Canada song. The Boards of Canada one is Etchus that appears on the uh, music that makes you fall asleep playlists. Yeah, the pipes counter your karmic ascension powers. It's a bit counterintuitive. Like you have the powers of the of the Buddha, but also the pipes. You can't be having it with those pipes. Um, and also I need more food before I can sleep. That has not changed. Can I, like, karmically, uh, materialize food in my stomach? Maybe that'd be good. Does the two lanterns make me, uh, more cold resistant, by the way? I don't actually know. Okay, see you, worm grass. Lamau, I'm just gonna T-pose over you. That's so silly. Only Gourmand can do that. I'm dying pretty quickly out here though, holy shit, it's cold. Let's get underground, please. Okay, this is better. Uh, is it that much better though? Oh wait, the shelter's up here, I'm close. It's actually faster to do the tongue spamming to get upward. I think I'm regenerating heat in here by the looks of it, so I should be fine. Send the bat. <laughs> Fucking annihilated. It, it's not even... I like the idea of like a... 
it's a, a death beam. It's effectively just a death laser, but it it doesn't harm their physical body. It just like directly removes their soul from the mortal coil. It just severs them from Samsara in one hit. The uh, the ability has like it's absurdly powerful within the context of this universe. It's, it's actually kind of crazy. I can ascend the popcorn dude. The ultimate <laughs> the ultimate application of the triple affirmative is making popcorn on demand. Ascend to Leviathan. I'll do it. I'll ascend all the things. Can I ascend myself? That's a bit of a worrying thought, actually. Like if I keep the crosshair on my own head, does the game just end? I'm gonna assume it doesn't, but also I'm not gonna try that. Eat a bat fly? Like, I can ascend. Are you saying that if I ascend something, I can actually eat it? Yeah, like if you if you ascend yourself, the game just ends and boots you back. I don't think the game would delete itself because you haven't ascended the other characters, but um, it's not quite Undertale. But yeah, the game would theoretically kick you back to the title screen at that point, I think. Oops, accidental flight, that's fine. Snacking while flying is great. Om nom nom. Oops, that water was not deep enough. I tried to fly, but I forgot the input. It's been a while since I played Artificer. Easy mode. I'm gonna encounter all the invisible walls now. Oh, worm grass, Lamau. Imagine. Imagine that being a problem. <laughs> He's a bird! He's a plane! No, it's the Buddha cat! Faster than a speeding bullet. More effective at ascension than gravel and bitter tea. These guys look ascendable. Um, if it is anything like Everhood, they may try to resist ascension because they value their lives, but we know that that's a karmic sin, so it should be okay. Um, area of effect? It seems to have an AoE. Alright. Uh, does ascending the scavengers decrease their rep? That's a, an important question. It is killing them, but like, it's in a nice way. It's a bit hard to think about, actually. They might not appreciate me doing that. It actually doesn't count as killing. That's fucked up. Do the scabs even understand at this point? It's like, yo, this dude has the way. This dude knows the, the escape from the cycle. I could have three lanterns if I wanted. I don't, but I could. Can I send a beehive? Ow. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it works on bees. I can ascend that bat. Remove it from the suffering of the uh, mortal world. Nice. Specifically the suffering of beehives. Um, I can ascend that caramel lizard. Very good use of the Mind Blast. That guy's not going to be in Samsara too. Uh, that guy looks like he's suffering. I'll help. Um, oh no, he's actually escaping. You can ascend leeches. Jesus. Yeah. For the record, I don't condone the use of uh, Buddhism to justify uh, wanton genocide, but um, I think we're immersed enough in the mechanics of this universe that it's probably justified at this point. 
Uh, okay, that guy's gonna kill me before I can ascend him, probably, so there's still a bit of danger. <laughs> We're not completely home free. And you also cannot ascend the grass. This campaign is quite disturbing, yeah. Um, Imagine ascending a dude while high on mushrooms, though. Different universe, different morals. That's sort of what you have to go for. The interesting thing about Buddhism is that uh, it all sort of relies on the one fundamental assumption that um, life is cyclical. Which is like, I guess the same is true of a lot of religions. Like, if you buy into this one fundamental assumption, then everything else kind of falls into place and has internal logic, but like, that's kind of the reason I'm not a Buddhist in the real world, is that there's no obvious reason to believe that reincarnation is a thing that makes sense or happens. It's like, okay. And if you take that out of the equation, nothing else really makes sense anymore after that. In this universe, we have explicit confirmation, like tangible proof constantly that reincarnation is a fact and it's inescapable. And so the tenets of Buddhism then became of much more practical value. We can reevaluate our morality based on it. Hmm. Fuck, that's a lot of karma. Media literacy win? Is that what media literacy is? I hope so. Um, I found Everhood more unpleasant than this, honestly. <laughs> Uh, because it does much less to set up its, um, the alternate state of its world. Like, Everhood was really... just left a really bad taste in my mouth, because it... It was sort of going for the same idea as this, but it, like, did not... was not nearly as effective in actually setting up what the cycle was, what the stakes were. It sort of just more took it for granted and was tried to, like, force-feed you um, the idea that it was, like, a good thing. You were very, like, what felt like rather blunt emotional man manipulation, to be honest, so I kind of dislike Everhood in a way that I don't really feel about this game. Uh, oh wait, I can ascend the dude, I forgot. Why, why try anything else? Just fucking send him to hell. By w oh, oh, he got me first, actually. Fair enough. Ascend the entire scav toll. I still have to ascend the, the popcorn tree. The lizards can still kill the, the messiah if they want. The messiah, the Buddha, you know, it's... They're probably different things, but... You know what I mean. <clears throat> Yo, that popcorn is ascended as fuck. The seeds are probably not even fertile anymore, because I ascended them too. The, the seeds' souls have, like, departed now and are no longer possible t of creating life. The implications are rich. That lizard was so embroiled in samsara that he killed the guy trying to ascend him. Very sad. A valid bear. Oh, that's really funny if that's true. Apparently jellyfish are immune, which means that the old text about jellyfish being uh, the most enlightened beings is correct. I guess that makes them kind of like plants? Maybe my theory is true, or not my theory, the thing that I randomly spitballed, is that like, um... Are you trying to kill me, dude? Uh, the grass is immune to your um, ascension literally because it is not part of the cycle, because grass does not have desire or will. It just lives once and then it has no attachment to the world because it cannot think and so it dies. And it's as simple as that. Okay, I'm gonna fucking airstrike you guys. See ya. 
sin of greed. Getting rid of those carnal urges just right quick here. There we go. That was genocide, but in a nice way. Is that another one? Fixed. Okay. Are the bodies of the Ascended Vegan? Only one way to find out. Oh, that's a vulture coming. I can ascend you too. Hang on. I got him. Can I eat a vulture? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. The bodies of the Ascended are not vegan because Saint follows their own weird definition of veganism as discussed. Uh, please fly. I'm gonna get death squads now. This might be bad, actually. I don't think they care that I massacred all those dudes. I think they're just mad because I passed through the toll. They have their priorities very uh, rigidly in line. Caramel. Pop. This is insane. <laughs> this is a crazy conclusion. Conflict resolved. This <laughs> is so fucked up. Brain World Power Trip. Pacifist Power Trip Massacre. Uh, but it's also the good ending. It's, it's like, what? It's hard to wrap your head around. It really is. Um, I'm pretty sure the way to cure five pebbles of his uh, brain rot is to permanently kill him. That's... It has to be. Um, that was his goal in the first place. And that's basically all he's waiting to happen now, is just like, how long does it take till I die, so... I'm going to go destroy his mind with a nuclear bomb. Okay, quickly ascend the centipede. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's not much your godlike powers can do against falling into the jaws of a centipede. <laughs> as long as you're not using your fists. It's not really genocide. Screw being a pacifist. I think I'll use my mind blast. I'm feeling holy. Gonna ascend them all. <laughs> Story of Rain World. Jesus Christ. I think exposure to that would make your eyes bleed or something. Will I do the challenges? I have no idea. Dude, you're fucking right. This is the real snow grave route. I'm gonna get back to five pebbles. I'm gonna show him what I mean by the snow grave. Imagine that being the conclusion of your character arc. Is death. That's literally it. That's like the good ending. I was finally killed. Hooray. I have to massacre the scavengers again. Have to. No alternative the only way, really. The only moral choice. Also the caramel lizard. I saved you from that lizard. Uh, I still haven't crossed the toll, so you have no reason to be mad. Why you have to be mad? Um, my psychic power is still regenerating. Hang on, I'll help you out with the vulture. I missed. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh, this is bad. My mind powers ran out. Uh, defend me from the vulture until I can kill it. There we go. I helped. This, this increases my reputation, does it not? Oof. And you get a mind blast. And you get a mind blast. I don't think they're aggroed on me, actually. I think the ones at the, the toll are neutral. Okay, I'm back to the old tricks now. They don't seem 
actually upset by this. Like, they're almost waiting in line to get mind blasted at this point. I'll save you. Oh, wait. Oops, I didn't mean it. Um, I'll save you now. No, you, okay. Uh, that one's in it for another cycle. Okay, they're actually aggroed now for some reason. How do you even know how to, like, parse this as, as a sca- Ah. Uh, that guy finally decided that maybe all of my friends being killed by this floating green thing is bad. Oh, I passed the toll. Oops. This is- it's rather silly. I can just fly directly over the toll without ascending them, but... But I'm the saint. I'm supposed to ascend all the mortal beings. I am the triple affirmative. This is global ascension. I wonder if I create echoes. That'd be pretty bad, right? If if I could uh, uh, fail to ascend something and create an echo instead? Like, that would suck. I'm just going to assume that's not how it works. This is the new script for the Minions movie, what the fuck do you mean? Does this happen in the Despicable Me canon? Does Gru build a, a beam that can liberate someone's soul from their body? If I pay them first, then they'll be fine with- I'll try again. The Minions escape Samsara? <laughs> The whole- the fucking crowd of minions are just like waddling off of a cliff into the void sea in like a mass exodus from the mortal plane. I'd watch that. They let like Robert Eggers direct the next minion movie and that's the result. It's like some galaxy brain four-dimensional meta commentary where they all kill themselves. Our slug cat who art in void. Something Baja be thy brain blast. Oh I see, Baja, it's a Mountain Dew reference. We, we drink five Pedvi in this house. Still can't get over the fucking five Pepsi branding saying it's the triple of primitive. <laughs> it's like the most blasphemous possible thing. Okay, where's the caramel? Oh, it was behind me. Hi. Fuck, get back here. I'll send you and your friend too. There we go. The scavenger. You look hostile. You're getting ascended. Uh, the rest of you are getting bribed. D he doesn't even want the pearl. I'm just gonna blow out your brains then in that case. Leave me with no choice. And I'll take the pearl back. <laughs> and then I'm gonna find a mirror that says, despite everything, it's still you. And it's like unclear what it even means at that point. Yeah, that'd be great. The pearl is yours, my friends. They don't even seem to want the pearl. Like, what's their deal? By the way. Your souls are now, uh, liberated. If I kill the guy who takes the pearl, does that count as, uh, not having paid the toll again? Oh, Vulture. I have the brain juice. Headshot. Holy shit. Okay. The scabs are gone, but my psychic energy is depleted. Just like, I don't know, Ari Geller would say. Is that the guy's name? You know the one, the spoon bending guy.
I can't ascend specifically James Randi because my psychic energy was low that day when he had me on his television show. Or is it John Randi? I'm forgetting everyone's names. Uh, okay. Really, though, I'm going to need my psychic energy to recover before I try to ascend. Wait, what if, and hear me out, eating the psychedelic mushrooms made your psychic energy come back? Okay, it doesn't. That'd be funny, though. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Just obliterates them. That's not something I'd want to see, is like I, I leave my den and then there's like a floating T-posing slug cat, visibly high on mushrooms, who's just like annihilating things with his brain. Like, I, I, is that the, is that the savior? Is he supposed to be frothing at the mouth with bloodshot eyes? I don't know. Seems a bit suspect to me. Oh my god. Can he deorbit me with his, uh... Projectiles? What? The projectiles move the fucking crosshair. What? They push the crosshair back. It's like the crosshair is like a physical entity. No. The fruit is trying to kill me. The plants are rebelling at my genocide. The crosshair gets reset when you get hit. Oh, is that how it works? It, it really looked like it was just pushing the crosshair back with its projectiles. Wait, that's an unlockable there. Guess I might as well get that. Uh, oh, I'm still flying? Ooh, that was... I wasted all my psychic powers, damn it. For the Chivo, though. So much for being distanced from mortal desires. I nearly died to get a Chivo. Caramels are just that strong. They can push back the call of the void itself with uh, spit. Can I fly into cover and then... Oh my god. This, this guy's fucking too strong. He's so powerful. I can't defeat him. Like, Jesus. Fuck! <laughs> it's so hard! Ah. That was a battle? I'm back here. Thermals are immune to ascension by virtue of spitballs. That lizard is the physical incarnation of Karma 5. Yeah, that guy can live if you really want. I don't have to kill that guy. I mean ascend. If he really wants to stay in Samsara, then I guess I'll allow it. I mean, uh, ignored the, uh, golden opportunity before him. It's not bad. I'm doing them a favor. Okay. Okay. There's like 20 caramel lizards here stacked on top of each other. Very cool. That guy. Okay. Um, first off, have the pearl. That'll pacify them as I fry their brains. Actually, they're just leaving. Interesting. 
I guess they didn't want their brains evaporated this time. I don't really want this. Can I have another lantern though? I could use a, a lantern. Wombo combo, check that out, okay. Oops, that's the pearl, I don't want that. There's a lantern here somewhere. There it is, okay. Okay, I'm out, of, I'm out of juice. Gotta move on. You can ascend kelp and pole plants. Maybe the kelp have desires, because they can practice violence, though. But the, the, the grass can also be violent by that logic, so I don't know. I don't know what the logic is. Maybe it's actually the logic is if they have a hitbox in the game engine that can be targeted by the Mind Blast. That might be what it boils down to. They fucking? Natural Urge 2 detected. Deleting. I'm chimming them. I think the goal for ascension is much closer to zero sum than chim. I think chim is like being an echo more or less. Or that's the closest comparison, which is very much not the goal. The saint might be something closer to chim actually, because the saint ascended but then came back anyway, which parallels both the uh, idea of the bodhisattva but also chim I guess. Oh, not this guy! Is that the same fucking lizard? That guy's like Rasta Beast if we're on the, the Everhead metaphor now. That's the Rasta Beast. Ascension corn. You can also ascend popcorn, which implies that the plants aren't immune to ascension, so I'm not sure, yeah, how the logic actually works. Cool down the bloodlust? It's not bloodlust, it's my purpose. I am the triple affirmative. I have to free all of the lesser creatures of the land from the cycle. That is almost explicitly my purpose here. Wait, I can use the power on the echoes? I have to visit them again? For fuck's sake, I'm not doing all that. Uh, maybe if I pass one. You can't? Oh, really? You'd think that would be like one of the main uses of it, honestly. Here, I have a pearl. I'll send you the... Just as a bonus. I'm not going to ascend all of them though, that takes too long. Do you care about it back? Okay, just barely got it. There's another one. Fuck me. What was that noise? Taken care of. I saved you. I saved you as well. You doubt Sliver of Straw would have given the triple affirmative fur that feels like too much of a hard read on her part. You're thinking the triple affirmative was created by Sliver of Straw. But my theory is that this was a naturally occurring phenomenon. I'm not sure what involvement Sliver of Straw even had with this. Um, if any? 
I don't see what influence she could still have over the world, having herself ascended. But like, I don't think it makes sense for her to come back as a slug cat. That's very contrived. Uh, I Personally, I'm just going with the idea that the slug cats took on this sort of mission themselves after developing a more robust culture and intelligence. Yeah, Sliver of Straw couldn't have directly made Saint, like in through genetic, uh, the usual kind of thing. Fuck. Centipede is in the way. Gonna have to. We'll have to deal with it. Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Oh, I ran out of juice. That's bad. Uh, okay, just don't move and they can't see you. That's literally how they work. It's like Night in the Woods. Yeah, the Toho boss fight isn't canon. There's a shocker. Uh oh. No, please. Uh, please. I'm trying to fly. Okay, this is a real problem here. I can't really get past the section. Toho? No, I've never played a Toho game. I, I know I can fly, fly to everything, but I literally feel like the goal here is to just ascend everything. Otherwise, what's the point of having my mind powers, right? The saint in the universe would just be ascending things right and left. Like the centipede, for for example, ascended. Pearl. Maybe if they're clustered together, at least. I mean, that's just a freebie, easy mode. But I gave you the pearl. Five Pebbles hated slug cats, and yet it is the triple affirmative. I'm gonna run out of karma. Uh, I don't really know what I need it for at this point. I could farm more if I really need. I could go back through the gate to uh, what you call it, the Shaded Citadel, which is Five Pebbles' uh, body currently. So last time I gave them the pearl and they killed me anyway, uh, which is a bit troublesome. There we go. No problemo. Caramel Lizard is probably on the next screen. Okay, I'm at a juice now. Caramel Lizard is coming through. Ooh. Sneak attack. You have to jump to do the ascension, that's like actually quite an obstacle, because if you're on a pole, 
that pole was eating my jump input there, so I couldn't actually activate the mind blast. Poles and pipes, they counter you. Oh no! Escaped! I am stunned. I can't move. Okay. Well, that guy's not getting ascended. Ooh, karma flower. I'll take it. Yeah, Saint is... There's no way that Saint could have met Sliver of Straw. Like, Sliver of Straw died before... Long before the, even the Spearmaster existed. And the Saint is thousands of years after that. Wait, why am I... The game thinks I'm holding down the grab button, but I'm not. Okay, it's fixed itself. It's a bit of an issue for a sec. Oh, well, I know how to fix this. That would have been very awkward otherwise. I almost forgot that I have the tongue still. Like, it's already such a powerful ability. I'm over relying on flight. Um, should I use the other shelter? Probably. Yeah, I should probably just go use the other shelter first. Saint can be really old? How? Like, thousands of years old? How does it- does that even work with the idea of the cycles? Like, time doesn't pass if you die and reincarnate. You have to, like, literally live through all the cycles, so... I don't think it's possible to just have lived since the time of Sliver of Straw and still be the same person. Here we go, we're karma laddering once again, we're back on the grind. I just don't think there's a way to directly implicate Sliver of Straw in this, because like the time span between it is just so vast. Like anything that you can you can think of that would somehow be Sliver of Straw's doing would be like almost inherently contrived, because it's like why did this plan take five thousand years to implement? And why does this random slug cat like, there's, there's no apparent influence. Uh, this is not leading anywhere useful. Why am I going this way? Yeah, I, th I think Challenge 70 was just like a shit post. That's how it came off to me, was you literally have like a Toho bullet hell boss fight with like the WD Gaster character. It's like the meme, it's, it's what everyone says I hope doesn't happen in Deltarune. I hope Toby doesn't shit the bed and make Gaster the final boss. It's like the devs literally did that in the goofiest way possible and then made that like a non-canon challenge. I think it's quite funny actually. Okay. Wait, this isn't the way to the shelter either. Is it? Oh no, it is. Okay. This is the way to industrial. Hi, Scav. Exactly one part about Challenge 70 was confirmed canon, and it's that yes, that is how Sliver of Straw looked. Well, I don't see what the point would be otherwise. Showing a character, oh, her appearance is non-canon, that's not what she looks like. It's like election trucking art. So excited for Delta in Chapter 70. Me too. I hope I live to see the day. That could take a little while. People are asking what I think of the brain rot levels in the lore pit. It may come as a surprise to lore pit users, but I don't regularly check in on the lore pit to see on what level the brain rot is on that day. The brain rot in the lore pit has been too high for the last 12 months. Uh, and that's about where I 
my understanding stops. Um, I'm still holding this fruit for no reason, unfortunate. Oh. Wah, 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 wah. Just like <laughs> levitate up to the top like an absolute chad. Okay. Oh, game is lagging. Centipede is trying to kill me. Uh, the shelter is above, probably. It's still an evil centipede. go. Uh, this might be progress. Oh. Well, this is back to the shaded citadel anyway. Uh, oh, that's bad. If he chases me, I can merc him though. There we go. Dead centipede. I think this is a pretty safe path except for the one room. The, this, oh, not this room, different room. A lot of centipedes, okay. That one just gave up on life without my interference. Uh, yeah, this shit. Can I ascend in here? It's not big enough to ascend, uh-oh. Okay, the cyan is gone. What if I don't ascend them and instead just levitate over the whole mess? I'll send you. Compromise. Okay. Perfect. Those most deserving of ascension are the ones who are a direct threat to my health, as we all know. You gotta put the life mask on yourself before your, your uh, children, right? That's, that's the rule. If the saint dies, then no one can ascend. I could have just used the tongue, but I'm getting lazy. Just float over on your hovering gamer chair. <laughs> hovering Buddhist gamer chair. Oh, these guys need ascension. Or, wait, no, that guy needs ascension, holy shit. Okay, you stopped to have a little wiggle, fortunately for me. The mice don't seem to want to ascend at the moment, um, so that's okay. Yeah, the cyan patiently waited to be ascended, very polite. Uh, does this scav want me dead? Eh, okay, whatever. Blah. A five pebble structure grows rockets and flies to space, true ending. I wish I could see that happen, that'd be sick. That would be like an eventually five pebble stop thinking moment. Really, realistically, they'd f it would grow rockets and fly into the void sea. <laughs> Uh, get shit done through an alternative route. It really just fly into space, like why? <laughs> Alright, let's see what's on the, the other side of this gate now. I may have been on the other side, actually, while exploring five pebbles. But, importantly, I still have a pearl from Moon. Well, now I have to think about how this is going to work. Do I directly ascend five pebbles and then go see Moon? Or do I go see Moon first and then she'll be like, Oh, you should probably go ascend five pebbles. You would appreciate that. 
see Pebsy first. It's it's like the shortest path probably. They still have the fake entrance. This room gets me every time. Frosted Cathedral. They're really busting out the, th the thesaurus for this one. It's not a citadel, it's a cathedral. How's that for some movement tech? Oops, that's not the right way. We didn't miss Moon, right? Uh, I think Moon is way to the the east of here still. Like this is the way to get to Moon normally. Y'all want some ascension? Who's the real Essentia 2000? <laughs> Am I right? Please don't kill me. Okay. I think the mice living in the fucking Shaded Citadel are in dire need of a uh, reprieve from Samsara. They just get eaten by spiders over and over again. That's their life. You can take the top route, I think, which I didn't know about until I saw someone else play, I think. Not this exact room, clearly, but... And maybe there is a route up here. Could I kill the rot? That's an idea. Oh, it just puts you back here. Well, that's not useful. God, if I'd have been a bit quicker, I could have just literally exterminated all the rotten five pebbles myself and then let them live. Would have defeated the purpose, but that's a... I can, I can imagine it happening, at least. Nightmare Bridge? Nope. Throw the rot in the void. Okay, this is uh, new. This is not normally part of created Citadel. Go up. There we go. And a shelter. Convenient. Oh, true. Yeah, there's, there's only two rot blobs in Saints Hole campaign anyway. And I think I met them. I, I took a death to them somehow. Why do the karma symbols look like this? It's like you're picking the leaves off a four-leaf clover. Why does that represent the ascent to uh, enlightenment? I wonder. Anyway, I came up from this way. Those were the shedding of your last attachments. Yeah, you could read it that way. Okay, we're back in the husk. Husk zone, let's go. Um, I remember this this side was nowhere even close to where Five Pebbles actually is, though. You have to go all the way around uh, to the other side. No, you think they represent the five natural urges being crossed out. So the first five levels are like gaining awareness of the urges, and then the the second five are actually obliterating the urge. Interesting interpretation. 
Uh, probably should be pretty speedy here. The cold is a hazard. I don't think I came this way before. Looks kind of new. But you can't see that they're being crossed out until reaching max karma anyway, because the symbols are different until then, which is really confusing. So who knows what that's all about? Like, what does the Mercedes Benz mean? The Mercedes Benz! Uh, yeah, I, Undertale Yellow, says chat. I, I am going to stream that, um, but I've decided already that the next game I'm going to stream is that um, In Stars and Time thing that just came out. So Undertale Yellow has to be after that, which is itself after Rain World. I remember getting stuck at this shelter for like 10 years, so I know I'm on the right track. Slurping, slurping, slurping. shed your urges in the same order or the reverse order? I think this is a question that the ancients would have cared about and doesn't really matter. It's a, what does Moon say? Some debated this question at great length, or excruciating length. You gotta imagine the ancients had their own lore pit, but it was all about like, instead of fucking Deltarune, it was just like how to escape the cycle of life and death. And they couldn't actually find the answer, much like the lore pit can't actually know what's going to happen in Deltarune Chapter 3, so instead they just busied themselves with other completely irrelevant questions of increasingly minute semantic detail. Okay. Uh, can I remember how to get the pebbles from here? I think it was down, actually. Uh, delete, delete, delete. I think you go down then through the water, somehow. It was here, I believe, yeah. Yeah. This took a long time to figure out on the first way through. Um, even with Pat trying to give directions. Oh, the scab zone. Never forget. Y'all want some global ascension? Y'all want some triple affirmative? I gotcha. What about you? Okay, that's enough. Running low on juice. Uh... And this is a death pit, but it's generally like this direction, I think, is where you go. Is it down from here? It might be down, because I can't get over this gap from the top. I think this is the way. Maybe all the way down? Ouch. Uh, explosive spear. I really don't need that. It's up? Oh. Uh, I need the food anyway. Like, oh. Uh, oh. Okay, this is a bit sketchy now. Hang on. Delete the centipede first. Oh. The fruit. <laughs> Clutch? Okay. Here we go. I'm pretty sure the logic is you get to the bottom of this this cliff, and then five pebbles is sort of in the in it, the the cleft, the the crevice. You pidge. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's the weird scavenger room. Don't need that. Uh. I don't recognize this area. This is weird. Some no clip would be great right about now. 
there's more. Fuck. Never just one spider. Why do they hide in the walls? That's annoying. Blizzard. Delete. Oh good, the spider can now eat the lizard. Spider doesn't fucking deserve ascension. I'm gonna leave it in Samsara. Okay. Is this where I died to the rot? It might be. That's where the rarefaction saw was? Oh, interesting. I missed that. I don't even know if this is the right way anymore. I can go back if it's not, but... Probably not the right way, but there's a shelter here. Um, let's see, I could have gone up. Uh, where the fuck was five pebbles in all this? This is the right way, okay. Well, I'll keep going. All oh, right, the shortcut means I can just literally go up. You're back? What did I miss? Uh, I became the Buddha and gained divine powers. I am the triple affirmative. I can kill things with my mind, but not just kill things. I delete their souls from the cycle itself with my mind blast. It's pretty cool. I achieved apotheosis, exactly. I have seen the Eye of Horror. I have seen the Magna Carta. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. That's what the saint says, that's his catchphrase now. How long ago is that? Ah, uh, feels like seven hours, it's probably like 40 minutes. I can fly too, yeah. I can just fly. Uh, go left and up before you head right. To find some rot? Here I'll... I guess I'll kill a rot. I believe Saint now has the means necessary to kill David Lynch with negative psychic energies. I think Saint can do it easily. Uh, speaking of David Lynch, um, I was watching... Uh, it's a channel I watch sometimes, very good channel, Jimmy McGee. Um, and he has a Rain World, two Rain World videos. Um, but they open with... I don't know if it's the exact same one that you used, Molly, but it's, it's literally they both open with those David Lynch... It is October 22, and it is rainy in LA today, and would you believe it, they open with those, it just, it kind of blew my mind, it's like, those are only supposed to be exist in your videos. <laughs> Fucking deserved it. Blew up his entire quadrant. Wrong left. You want David Lynch to have a copy of RPG Maker, holy shit. We gotta get David Lynch playing Mad Father or some shit to see what would happen. And then I guess to make his own. Yeah, David Lynch and RPG Maker, they are somehow, I feel there's a connection there. <laughs> I think that the, the horror monsters that David Lynch makes already look like RPG Maker horror, like the weird fucked up little effigies and shit. Um, like you could just make that into a pixelated sprite and have that chase you down the hallway. One and done. Instant hit. What would David Lynch think of Hylix? What would he think of Matotsuki? He'd love it. 
I'm sure he'd love it. Yumi Nikki is straight up Lynchian, like it's it's pretty directly just like what he's into. Dreams and shit, all the weird dreams and the subconscious. Very Lynchy. Okay, this is where I died to the rot, maybe? I don't really remember. Hmm, do I want to use this shelter too? There's not really a need to. It's so close to the other one. Is that a spider? Fuck off, spider. Uh, where the fuck am I? This might be the right way. Back. A hidden pipe? Is there a way to get there without a hidden pipe? Because this all leads uh, somewhere. That's the edge of a cliff. Isn't that where I want to go? Or is that actually the precipice now? I'm going to see what's over there. Are we hunting the rot? I don't know. I don't think I really want to be hunting the rot. I don't really care about that. Um, that was a, a hypothetical. Uh, lots of bad shit in this room. Exterminate. Exterminate. Uh, spitter. Nice, that was the most important target. Good, the spiders can just like eat each other. There's another spitter. Great. Fucking mass grave. Get wrecked spiders. There's always another spider. They always come back. Wait, the spitter is still alive? Okay, I'm good. Get, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I don't recognize this room at all. But it looked like there was that sort of cliff area still to the right, which might be the... Oh wait, that's the shortcut. I know this area now. I think I know the way. <clears throat> yeah, this is where I kept trying to go up and there was like a red spider in the way, then I kept dying, and then I just gave up and went a different way. Uh, speaking of which... That spider is fast, faster than my crosshair. Jesus. Couldn't even see him and I ended his life anyway. The last thing he saw was the karma symbol on them. Slowly faded into the void. And I let Samsara take... That doesn't really make sense. Uh, so that I was going for, though. I cannot believe that spider didn't kill me. It still might, at this rate. It still might. Yeah, it killed me. God damn it. Spiders carry around Jesus Jesus to revolve the, revive the fallen karmads. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would work against soul disintegration. You'd think that would be pretty permanent. But maybe they follow Undertale AU logic. And they just find a way. Oops. I meant to take the lantern. Uh, yeah, this is the mirror. I can ascend these guys. I just need a, a few seconds to charge up my mind blast. <laughs> that feels good. Uh, wait a minute. Is this progress? Fruit. Love me fruit. Uh, 
Oh, it's this area with the weird floor hole. And more birds. Wait. Oh, you're fucked. <laughs> Fucking line up. <laughs> the scissors still go. F oh, dear. That's worrying. How the fuck did it. Can I, uh. Psionic blast it out of the hole? Can I just... Shit. Its soul has been removed, so I can't blast it anymore. Uh... Lizard, can you, like, try to eat this? Can the vulture maybe take it out? Can you guys help me? Lizard's making a really valiant effort to remove the Miros Vulture, I appreciate that. The, the Vulture might also help me. Fuck. Uh, wait, if I ascend the- it's too far away. I could have ascended the Lizard to make the Vulture not targeted or something. Actually, that wouldn't have worked. Oh, it's coming back, it's coming back. No, he's gone. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> what is he doing? Well, fuck. Hi. Yep. Shit yourself now. <laughs> Miros bird got its head directly wedged in the hole, like all the way down. The full length of its neck was just buried in the hole. How did it even do that? You think the Biden blast would have the same effect as the Saint's ascension powers? Probably, right? Or maybe the United States presidents are too obligatorily Christian to practice Buddhist ascension techniques. I wouldn't know, personally. Alright, you're getting transcended. I guess the equivalent would just be like sending you directly to heaven. <laughs> it just ascends your ass. Get up there. A vote for Biden is a vote, 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 vote against Samsara. Prepare to do 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 Betty buys. Oh no. Ascent, ascent, ascent. <laughs> this is fucked. Ah! Oh! Whoa, oh, oh, oh. This has gone badly. I am slightly too high. All right. Enjoy Samsara, friend. They're just kind of twitching. I don't think you're gonna send yourself. I I put the cross over myself once to kill a a thing I was holding. I forget what the context was, and it it did not in fact uh, ascend myself. Which is for the best, that would be pretty bad. I think we talked about that earlier. It would logically involve like booting you back to the title screen and like resetting the campaign if you could actually do that. Okay, up here, this was the, the hidden path. This is the way back from Pebbles, but with my mind flight powers, I can use it to get up to Pebbles.
I can also use the flight to traverse uh, quite a lot of the platforming challenges. How lucky for me. It would be an alternate ending, yeah, pretty much. It would have the same effect as jumping in the void, really. It would just be the same thing. Okay, that's much easier with flight. You could easily kill yourself. Yeah, if it actually allowed you to do that, you would you would kill yourself constantly, and it would suck. Um, we can assume that the saint, the mind powers aren't literally like a crosshair. It's like the saint has to choose which soul to take to the astral realm, and like they would probably comprehend if they were targeting themselves or not. Uh, you'd think. Okay, fuck this. Uh... Oh, this is just to the right. Okay, I know where this is. Pebsy, I'm back. I'm back for you, buddy. Dot, dot, dot. Is the lantern still here? I don't think it is. It is warmer today. Alright, Pebbles. I'm going to send you to the Shadow Realm. I hope that's okay. I know that's okay with you because that's what you spent the entire uh, canon timeline trying to achieve in the first place. Um, fuck it. Let's do it. This seems momentous, but also very understated. I literally just point a crosshair at him and the plot of Rain World is resolved. It's kind of fucked, actually. I hesitate to actually pull the trigger, because that means that five pebbles doesn't exist, but also five pebbles at this point kind of doesn't really exist either. Alright, I'm deleting him. I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. He pose. Oh my god. He went fucking big. He's dead. That's it. That's five pebbles dead. Holy shit. His arm still seems to move. I hope that's just a, a glitch. Um, which one was the pearl, by the way? Which one was the pearl that he was actually playing? What a fun moment to come back to. I know, we we killed one of the two characters in the game. The purple one. Uh, they all kind of look the same. Oh, the map. That's a fair point. It's not on the map. That's white. This is a slightly darker one. Do you think it was deleted when I ascended him? Fuck, does that mean I gotta kill myself just to bring five pebbles back from the dead so I can take his pearl? It's on the map? Oh, it's there? Oh. It doesn't look purple to me, but okay. Um, I need to get back to shelter. Wait, I put the lantern somewhere. Uh, is it the one I'm carrying? I think it's the darker one that I'm carrying, probably. Hopefully I can get back before I freeze to death. Um, it would be kind of a bummer to have to like re-ascend five pebbles. <laughs> that's, that's not a plot event you really want to uh, iterate over, so to speak, uh, if you know what I mean, you know.
He fucking went like a singularity bomb, though. Like his head full on turned into a black hole for a second there. We'll check the pearl before I shelter. It's the only one that shows up on the map. Like, it's the only one that shows up. It has to be the right one. Flop. Alright, we killed God, and uh, we are now making that canonical. Oh boy. Saint has partially completed their pilgrimage. Now it's blue bow time. Yep. Okay, so we, we want to use the exit again. I went back up the shortcut, now I go down the shortcut. Um, and I have two pearls for Blue Bow before I rip out her soul. <laughs> Delete it. Uh, slash positive. Uh, what do I need the Neuron Glow for, really? One way to stop fall damage. Mice are looking ascendable. Oh, they were for a second. They stopped being ascendable. I think I dropped it. No, I didn't drop it. Okay. It's sad because maybe you accidentally ascend pebbles or moon and when you kill yourself to undo it, they are still gone. Oh really? That doesn't... Other creatures who, I think if you ascend and then you die, they come back it seems. Like Caramel Lizard sure came back. Maybe that's just um, more of a scripting limitation with the game. I think I dropped the lantern. Shit. Well, let's go back. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. Uh, well, the pearl is already in my stomach. It's easier to find if I miss the lantern than if I drop the pearl. Ouch. Yeah, I think they just scripted it so you wouldn't have to redo ascending the two main characters. That's probably a good call. That would be kind of a weird uh, vibe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Bye, 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 bye. Okay. Fucking spiders aren't gonna stop me from ascending looks to the moon. I'm gonna use cover and destroy you. Or no, no, I'm not. I'm gonna die anyway. Wait. I almost saved it, but I double tapped the button. Ah. I've lost the muscle memory for the uh, the artificer explosion jump input, so it's not always intuitive on how to do it exactly. Uh, store the music pearl. I think it's about. I mean, theoretically, the red one's a little bit more visible, but it's not that much of a difference. Um. I can never get the roll going here. I just want to roll.
trying very hard to activate. Damn. All of them. All of them are dead. Wow, okay. Just put them both down there. Uh oh, how do I get that one back? These poles. Quadruple kill. It's not killing, it's ascending. We don't use that word. Um. <laughs> Wait, that, that's what the fucking Night in the Woods cult said, right? We don't use that word. Kill. No way that I'm like them. Killing huge numbers of people for a, uh, a personal religious belief that I happen to hold, which justifies their deaths. Nothing like that. Um, where's the pearl now? I lost it. It's falling off the edge of the cliff, apparently. That's cool. I found it. Surprise, motherfucker. So when it... Yeah. The kid swears in school. We don't use that word. We don't talk about killing the infidels. We're ascending them. Again, it's okay because in this universe there is objective proof that ascending them does send them to heaven. <laughs> it's completely legit. I am the heaven's gate. That's the who they were talking about. They meant me. John Slugcat. To Bluey. It's not gambling, it's surprise mechanic. Surprise is that you've lost money. Speaking of Jimmy McGee, by the way, I said I was watching his Rain World video, but he also has another really good video on uh, the history of video games and gambling and how they're kind of the same history in some ways. Very interesting. Oh, you can use your, your mind powers to swim through water? That's pretty cool, actually. That means I could go underneath the moon and get the echo. I think. Might be worth trying. I, I could also try ascending the echo there. That could be fun. Um, can I just maybe snipe the spider first with the old Biden blast? Oh! It fucking sensed me. It sensed my murderous intent like a Hunter Hunter character. Fuck. How did that miss? The spider is juking me out. What the fuck? Are you serious? Corpse went through the hole. Uh, anyway, the pearl. Where'd it go? That spider was fucking nuts. I swear to that guy was like input reading me about to ascend him. Like, that's what it really felt like. Like that crosshair is getting close. Better book it. If they programmed the crosshair as a creature that they were afraid of, they probably could achieve that behavior. It's a bit of a conspiracy theory, but... You know. Okay, very close now. Very close to where we started, actually. What percentage is that, Karma? It's any percent. A reference to the random access <laughs> mayhem speedrunning tournament occurring at the very moment.
Oh yeah, you're playing Elden Ring. That that game does. It does have input reading. Pedants and losers will tell you that it doesn't because it's technically reading the first frame of your animation, which is the same thing as input reading. All right, let's go. I can finally test it on the regular jellyfish too. Yeah, we gotta prove the ancient texts. The saint can prove whether jellyfish are ascended beings and also whether they're vegan. Th those are the two questions. The jellyfish are the most mysterious uh, beings in this universe. Yes, you missed Pebble's ascension. I nuked his brain like a black hole. It went big. Um, and that's that. No more five pebbles. The fucked up thing is that, like, it, that was his goal from the very start. Like, before even Spearmaster, that's what he was trying to accomplish. And it took until now for it to finally fucking happen because of a random slug cat who became the Buddha. It's hard to say whether anything much would have happened, though. Like, if Five Pebbles actually succeeded in killing himself, like... Would he not just have been another sliver of straw? Like, how would the other iterators have even known whether or not it worked or what happened to him? You can't really leave, like, uh, a, a, a note about the, the results of an experiment that results in your own death. I should rest here. It's a bit of a, a trek to get back, I learned. Took a few deaths here at the start. Moon could have sent overseers to look, true. But Moon would have collapsed at that point anyway. If he'd been allowed to succeed, she would have been very much destroyed still. Moisture. I mean, but they, they could have sent overseers to Sliver of Straw as well, but I guess the difference with Five Pebbles is that he sort of announced his plan beforehand. But he was an alt account? It's unclear what his plan exactly was. Like, if he succeeded in dying, what would that have told the other iterators beyond what happened to Sliver of Straw? Because it seemed like he wasn't putting it... Uh, actually, it's very unclear what his goal was in general. So, like, the thing that he was hypothesizing was that the triple affirmative was just dying. But also, that is explicitly what the purpose of the triple affirmative is in the first place. So it's kind of unclear what the ambiguity still is in Five Pebbles or the Iterator's mind. Like, what, if the triple affir affirmative is explicitly supposed to be global ascension, like it has to work for everything and not just yourself, then that's demonstrably not what dying is, because Sliver of Straw found the triple affirmative and then died, and that helps absolutely no one. So, uh, so that couldn't have actually been it. It was literally her dying, so I just wonder what Five Pebbles thought would happen. Yeah, or maybe Five Pebbles thought that, like, dying... Like, what was the idea? I can't quite grasp it. Five Pebbles thought a solution wasn't possible. And though he thought that the dying was itself the solution, I think. Which I guess implies that the global solution isn't possible, but it's the way he phrased it, it sounded like that wasn't what he thought. He wasn't phrasing it just as, like, the solution is fuck, we should all off ourselves. It's like... The, he was a sliverist who specifically believed that death itself was the solution, which the fact that they believe that in the first place sort of implies that like there's something more to the dying than literally just the result of being dead, because otherwise there's nothing to believe in. Like Obviously, dying is the solution to yourself being alive, but the triple affirmative was about more than that. It was about ascending everything, all the, the animals who couldn't do it themselves, basically. 
Otherwise, they wouldn't have needed the iterators. Fast and life once again. Yeah, Pebbles was trying to destroy the self-destruction taboo, but why else do that if you weren't going to self-destruct, so... Maybe at that point he would write a memo and be like, I am going to kill myself. Watch carefully to see what happens. <laughs> was that his plan? I don't know. Watch very closely. It might be Pog Champ. You think his plan was dumb? It probably was, but he seemed to believe in it uh, fairly strongly. I think I've said before that I think his plan was mostly just an excuse to try to kill himself, but like the fact that it's an excuse implies that there has to be at least some other uh, veneer beyond I just want to die. So like I'm just trying to figure out what was his stated purpose, what was the veneer of a higher kind of uh, reason to do all that, which must have been to solve something bigger than just killing himself. Like, he must have thought that him dying would accomplish something, or at least deluded himself into believing that. What if there is no universal solution? What if perception is in fact... Oh, so that... Yeah, true. Okay, I forgot the exact quote. He does very specifically say that there is no universal solution. We should just off ourselves. So maybe there wasn't really a higher purpose to it. But even then, Sliver of Straw calling that the triple affirmative is a huge reach because... Um, was it part two? It's, it's a triple affirmative. Part two of the affirmative, I think, was that it's universally applicable. So that's like by definition not the triple affirmative and it doesn't really make any sense. Wait. I have recourse. Fucking wrecked. The sea god is dead at last. I'm gonna be dead too if I don't get inside quickly. Holy shit. Okay, on the checklist is trying to ascend the jellyfish. Yeah, the other, I guess, question is like whether it's an achievement in itself for an iterator to die without returning in the cycle, because as far as we know, no iterator except Sliver of Straw has even died in the first place to know whether or not the cycle happens to them. So it's like, to what extent is it even an achievement for the iterator to kill itself if it just respawns in the cycle? Because we, we don't know whether that happens normally or not. The jellyfish appears to have been unaffected. So that's confirmation. They're ascendant beings. Flying underwater is fast. I should try that. Oh, it's real fast. Okay, cool. The jellyfish's limp body can escape the net. Yeah, like, if Five Pebbles kills himself and then wakes up again, does that disprove his hypothesis? Is that all that he meant at that point? Maybe. Maybe he, like, downgraded the, the triple affirmative to just, like, is there a way to even kill iterators permanently? I don't know, but he, but he didn't make that clear. I guess that confirms that the jellyfish don't even experience the cycle in the first place. Otherwise, the ascension would do something. They probably just live once and then immediately die because they have no worldly desires. It's really funny. Yeah, you'd be pissed off if you just woke up after trying all that. Well, at least then you could report the findings to the other iterators. And be like, I tried killing myself, and it didn't work. <laughs> it's really shit. Don't try it. It was a bad idea. Yeah, like for an ancient, the solution obviously wouldn't just be to commit suicide because they'd respawn. Uh, but for iterators there's enough of a challenge in just dying in the first place that, like, 
it seems like that's um, an intermediate goal to them. Is like, well, we don't know whether we can ascend or not until we know if we can even die in the first place. But it feels like the question of actual ascension sort of became lost or muddied in that process. It's like, does Pebbles really want to ascend or is he just trying to die, period? Did he forget that you respawn? Is he stupid? You know? Then he reads the view from halfway down. You can read that? Is that a real poem or is that just a Bojack Horseman episode? He forgot? <laughs> Uh, I can't rest here, can I? No. Maybe that's a sliver of did it? Uh, what, just like, you're saying rupture the void fluid? Like, theoretically, if a computer doesn't have power, it'll stop computing. It's unclear what even powers five pebbles at this point. There's no rarefaction cell. Maybe there's like a tiny solar cell <laughs> that's powering him? I don't know. Uh, it's a bit unclear. Alright, uh... This is sort of the end of all things here. It's you, little friend. Hello. Is that it? What if I... Look what I can do. I can fly. Do you have a comment on this, Moon? Nope. She doesn't give a shit. Okay. Well... What is that? I really made her go fetch. Sorry, Moon. This pearl is still warm. There is only one reason why that could be. Please return this. I am sure what little is left of him misses this dearly. If you must know what this is, it is a memento of an age long past, where my kind once stood towering above the clouds, toiling away at the great problem passed to us from our creators. Debating, testing, calculating, researching. Thousands of us. Is she implying that they're all probably dead? Or at least collapsed by now? That's sort of what she seems to imply is that, like, the iterators in general aren't even standing anymore, which I guess kind of makes sense this far into the timeline. How do I tell her that he's dead? Our creators chose to abandon us, taking a gamble and vanishing into the from the world, leaving us behind to simply keep working on their problem. I understand why he did what he did. That was a long time ago. The old world and its relics should be allowed to finally rest. A new cycle is unfolding, one we need not be part of. Hmm, so that doesn't act as like a... I thought that would be essentially like a suicide note that I could pass her. Be like, yeah, five pebbles. He's dead. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can tell her that at all though, which is strange. Oh, she caught it. Another gift. I will take a look. Another pearl. You want me to read this one too? Just a moment. This pearl is written in plain text. How did you find this? On regards of the by spiritual splendor eternally graced people of the congregation of... I am sorry, little creature. I am too amazed about the clarity of this date, despite its age. At this point, it's safe to say that this text has been burned into the pearl structure permanently. What a bizarre thing to have lasted all this time. I wonder how much of my creators will be remembered. It's literally the, the shipment of apple juice. That's all that remains of their culture and writings, is a shipment of apple juice. That's actually really fucking funny. I was wondering why that pearl of all things would be preserved, and that's exactly the joke. <laughs> so that's all that le that's all that's left. <laughs> Is it really for boats? Shipping receipt. <laughs> you want this? Oh, what is that little creature? I haven't tried giving Moon much besides pearls ever, but you can give her all sorts of stuff. It appears to be a pupa shell smeared on the insides with a glowing substance. It's been mixed with fire powder for, for warmth. It's not much, but anything to escape this cold is welcome. Oh, she wants it. Well, not for long. The scavengers never cease to adapt, even in this weather. If I ascend an Iggy in front of her, will that prompt a reaction? I just want- I want some sort of, like... I want to let her know, like, I'm going to ascend you. Please react to this information somehow, but, like... 
It seems kind of anticlimactic just to like snuff her lights out with no warning. I had to do that to Pebbles because there's no way to communicate with him, but... Uh... She really doesn't give a shit. Well... Pebble, uh, not Pebbles, Moon, Bluebow, it's been great. Read all those pearls, I appreciate it. I'm going to remove your soul now. Aw, hugs, hugs for Moon. Oh, great. You're going to the void. Oh, the neurons delete themselves. Uh, well, oh well. R.I.P. Bluebow, the realest one of all. And that's that. It's just... That's it. There's nothing left to do. Oh wait, there's an Iggy. Yeah, so what exactly happens now? I was pretty sure that when I got to Moon, she'd have some sort of dialogue about like hinting at what the actual conclusion to this is besides. Like, that was the conclusion. I, I killed both the iterators. Do I just ascend now? Like, that's the only other thing you can do in this world. I guess I go ascend, yeah. Okay. I can do a backflip on Moon's little rock now. Wait till next stream? It's been... A while. Uh, I mean, I know... <laughs> okay, here's some meta-knowledge. I know that Saint has an area called Rubicon. Rubicon is not an area in the base game, and all that's left to do is go to the depth, so I have a feeling that it's not going to be as simple as walking downstairs and into the Void Sea. I think there's a whole ass area. Oh, true, I could do the Submerged Echo. Um, all of which is to say that, uh, yeah, I probably want to do this next stream, because that's going to take a while. Red Pearl. I'll leave that there. You'll finish the Iterator Puppets by then? Hell yeah. I mean, Rubik, it's not really a surprise, like... I, I, it's taken me literally months to play this game, and like, I've been exposed to all sorts of random, like, YouTube thumbnails and passive conversations since then. It's really not a surprise. Uh, Rubicon's only a couple of hours? Well, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm gonna have to, uh... That's, that's too long for the stream, regardless. Uh, and in the meantime, I can go... Oh, the lantern. I th oh, I ate the lantern. Never mind. Um, in the meantime, I can go to that submerged echo and try not to die. Uh, I guess I have to starve this cycle because I'm gonna freeze to death otherwise. Place feels dead now? Well, that's because it is. I think starving's fine. I can I can recoup my food pretty easily. Have I seen Rubicon region art? It's like orange. I haven't seen gameplay, but I I know it's like kind of orangey. Random ass pearl. Schlorp, schlorp, schlorp.
The rarefaction cell is still going. Interesting. I guess that confirms that uh, an iterator's mechanical functions can continue even without any uh, actual brain left, any consciousness. Which sort of, I mean, it doesn't confirm it. My, my personal headcanon for Sliver of Straw, how she actually died, was that her complex stayed visibly functional, but she just stopped being alive. It was like a... Kind of like what happens to Moon and Pebbles, like, <clears throat> the superstructure is fine, all the individual components still work, it's just that, like, the net effect stops being a conscious entity. Ascend the golden egg worms. What? You mean the fucking... I thought those are foreground elements. I didn't think those were actually tangible. I didn't lobotomize Bluebo. Five pebbles was lobotomized. I, I killed them. I explicitly ended their lives. Ascend the jelly. I've already tried that. It does not work. The jelly don't experience the cycle. They have been exhaustively incapacitated. I got better. This is an ideal place to starve, actually. It's pretty free. Yeah, we, we don't know if, whether or not Sliver's can was still powered, but I think if, if Sliver of Strahd did truly ascend through some metaphysical means, then we now know what that looks like, is my point, is that your can still stays on, but you just, you can be dead without the can um, turning off. <clears throat> uh, oh, I can ascend that, apparently. It's ascending time. It didn't seem to do anything. Hang on. Maybe I missed? It doesn't do shit. Do I have to pop the egg first and then ascend it? It just disappears. Oh, there it is. I didn't realize those were related. Like, that actually came out of the egg, I guess. Uh... Did that do anything? I don't I don't know what the fuck that did. It's gone, but it didn't make the ascension sound. It's still there. I don't see it. It's so small I can't see it. Can you find a better one? I literally cannot see it. Where did it go? It's gone now. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's probably better to fly over this. Oh, I do need the food though, hang on. That's a rock. <laughs> Inflate snacks. Oh, yeah, that's faster, but uh, it also chills me out more. Ow.
You don't get cold when you're flying full stop? Huh. That's powerful. I think, yeah, this is the way into the uh, submerged thing. I remember that. Oh, wait, there's one there. I can ascend that fucker. Oh. Small fucking hitbox. It's not working. This guy's not ascendable. Is that supposed to do something? Oh, the, the interest is just that you can move it around. Interesting. I wouldn't have registered that as significant, <laughs> I have to admit, if it had not been directly pointed out. Do I even drown like this? It doesn't seem like I even lose air. I'm just like completely invincible, that's weird. What is the plan for tonight? Um, I'm going to the Echo in Moon, that's the only plan left. Where am I? I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Uh... Okay, none of these are all fake. This is supposed to be the rivulet zone, so I can go up those. Yeah, so the, the little uh, golden fishies, they can't be interacted with at all except by inter uh, the ascension, which is interesting. It's like mildly interesting. Uh, let's just wait for my uh, mind powers to come back. One last soggy echo. Uh, yeah, don't worry about not being able to donate today. That's no problem. All right. Uh, use the powers. There we go. Got a fucking jet ski. Look at me go. <laughs> Very effective, actually. I can't even go up there? Dude, where can I go? This is going to be a bit more laborious to navigate as uh, the saint as opposed to the rivulet. Mm, the neuron glow would have helped here, I have to admit. It probably would have helped. Uh, that's a dead end. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, hmm, this is a bit sketchy. There's nothing, there's nowhere down there. Those are all dead ends. This takes a fucking while for the juice to come back, too. down the first pipe. I'll try that once my uh, divine energy is restored. The divine light is severed. I gotta wait for that to come back. Is that a lizard? Oh, it's an aquapede actually. Gonna have to surface first. This is gonna take a while. I can find bubble weed, that's good. How does the gourmand get down here, by the way? <laughs> How the fuck does the gourmand even get past that first little bit? Oh, a jet fish. That's smart. Maybe I should have one of those. No, actually, they're all dead now. Yeah, let's get a full charge, check the map, 
Let's go straight down. Just literally straight down. I already fucked it up. Okay, recharge the mind juice. It's straight down on the left side. Gotta be quick. Hesitation is defeat, Sekiro. Oh, air. You love to see it. Uh, I don't think I need the mind juice for this bit. I'm calling it mind juice. What is it? What does that green represent? Focus, FP, mana. Pucut, the bubble weed, full stop from Gourmand. Yeah, I guess you can. I forgot about the Gourmand's crafting actually. I didn't use that very much, so I forgot it was a. Uh, it was an option, but it very much is. Is this a bad? Oh no, I can get under here. It's fine. Excellent. I'm fully equipped now. It's attunement, right. Whatever that actually means. It's a bit dark in here. I'm not sure why deleting Moon's uh, brain would have also made the neurons disintegrate into thin air. I was really expecting those to just kind of fall on the ground so I could eat them. Uh, I wasn't expecting this outcome. Thump. It's the headache bar. What, you have more brain juice at higher karma? I didn't know that. That's cool. Hello, chat member. Slorpin, slorpin, slorpin. Uh, I have more karma than God. Wait, don't stand on the heating element, probably. Probably bad. Wait. So it's not, don't stand on that. It's actually fine, never mind. You can't grapple to the roof in here, it's weird. Echo. I've sensed it. Of course there's another shelter through here. Fuck. That's going to be inconvenient. Okay, now God help me trying to follow the fucking rivulet path. I couldn't even navigate this place as the rivulet. I think it was pretty easy to get to once you go to the right side. Uh, the heart, anyway. I don't know where the actual echo is, though, is the thing. Wait, can I grab the fucking mass rarefaction cell out of the the receptacle? Can I do that? <laughs> like, I don't see why I'd, I'd want to, but also there's no reason not to. You cannot, apparently. Uh. It's like Moon isn't using that. Uh-oh. Wait. They fall really slow. I can actually rest at that shelter if I eat this food, which will be a good, uh... It'll make it so I don't have to use the sauna every time I come through here, if I die. Oh. This is not the way. It's weird that I'm alone now. Oh, yeah, Rain World only ever had two characters you could physically interact with. It was the same two every single fucking time. Just two dudes. And now they're both dead. And it's like, well, there's nothing else to really... 
produce um, explicit narrative anymore. It's just like whatever I choose to do with myself now. Uh, how do I get back? Wait, is it that? There. Explicit narrative? Uh, yes. Yes, Pidge. Yes. No time limit either. Well, do you freeze to death in this place? I don't know. It seems like you might. Even in the non-frosty campaigns, it seems like swimming underwater forever would eventually give you hypothermia. It's warm, huh? E oh yeah, I think I remember this. If you have two bubble fruit, it doesn't actually extend your uh, your breath. So what you can do is swallow one, pick the other, and then use the lantern to see. Okay, uh, do I want to go up or down is the question. I think I went down as rivulet, so going up maybe is just the play here. See, I don't need the neuron glow, I can just have a lantern. That's a dead end. Very filtration system-esque navigation. Let's just fly up. Save some time. Oh wait, the actual exit's there. Never mind. Hmm. The zap coils might be a bit of an issue. Those obviously weren't here for rivulet because there was no power. Is that a jetfish? Oh, that could be pretty useful, but I can't carry any of this other stuff while also carrying the jetfish. Huh. I wonder what's more useful. Okay. If I lick the, uh, the zap coil, do I instantly die? <laughs> it seems like I probably do. Uh, they're really bothering me here. Okay. You do. Okay. I'd be almost disappointed if you didn't. That's too funny. Okay, fucking jetfish. Stop. Can I go up? Uh, this is a dead end, it looks like. Unless I can go in the water. Zoom. Okay, where am I going? Nowhere. Is there nothing in there? There's one pipe at the very bottom. They really aggroed on me for some reason. Yeah, just go to the bottom and through the pipe and then you win. Okay. Uh, oh wait, oh that's the pipe? I can't even get in there. That's too cramped. Okay. Fucking just throwing fodder to Pidge at this point. Okay, I have the bubble weed. All is not lost. My breath is still going down pretty fucking quick for having a bubble weed. Why is it going down so quick? Did I drop the bubble weed? I think I dropped the bubble weed.
Yes, you've been holding back a lot, Pidge. I recognize that. It drains with the powers active. Oh. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> not helpful at all. <laughs> You're no saint. I would never accuse you as such. So that could have gone better for a few reasons. Number one is that I failed to get into the pipe. Number two is that I thought it was an auto pipe, but it was a manual pipe, which takes longer. Um, and also the bubble weed, I may have dropped it. I just have to try again. But getting into that pipe is so hard, actually. Where am I actually trying to go here? I want to go to the right, then down, right at the junction, then through a pipe, and then. Then where is the question? Just further right, maybe? Or I could go left. Well, we'll find out. Please go in the, in the pipe. Okay. Wait, I deactivated the mind powers. I'm fucked now. Oh, God damn it. Uh, is there anything over here? No, it's a dead end. Literally, because I'm dead now. Um, maybe I can go back to the surface without dying? The bubble weed is active right now. I think I'm still dead. Super dead. Yeah, if you press space, you turn off the mind powers and you can't turn them back on because you can't jump underwater. <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. Yeah, it would be good to have a designated ability button there for sure. Uh, but I'm sure Jimmy McGee would complain about that bitterly. Not correct. There we go. Yes, this is submerged superstructure. Um, the last thing I'm doing this stream is just uh, doing a quick pass to mop up the echo down here. Oh, there's a fruit. Okay. Straight down. It's never where I think it is. Okay. Quickly now. Don't press space, don't do anything. Uh, it's running out really fast. Okay, the bubble weed is here. The bubble weed works this time. I just dropped it previously. That was all that happened. This is a really long swim. Like a really sketchily long swim. The fucking fish isn't helping. The jetfish could help actually, but... Uh, oh, up. That's You can't go that way. You can't go up. You can't go up. You can't go up. Please surface saint, please sur- oh you fucking saint. Saint! Saint! Well I know it's possible. If I didn't try to surface in that illusory spot then I could have actually made it.
Oh yeah, we're not finishing this time. I've committed to this side quest because I sort of made the call that we couldn't finish the actual game on the stream. Oh, this is the dead end. You can spam swim boost with bubble weeds and not lose air? How the fuck does bubble- nothing about bubble weeds makes sense. They're just like weird broken piece of shit items and I kind of hate them, but interesting. Well, that's gonna make it a lot easier. I basically never swim boost. Like, I forget that it's a thing because it's such a waste of oxygen usually. Alright. Mind powers. Enter. Already time lost. The jet fish is in the fucking way. Now I can spam swim boost, apparently, which. It is working, I think. I'm going a lot faster with the boosts, yeah. Is that an aquapede? Fuck off, aquapede. Okay, I'm on normal breath. Just swim a bit further before surfacing, and we're good. Easy peasy. Now I just have to not die any other way, or I get to do that again. That was way less than 30 seconds of air. Oh, I'm back. Wait, I don't want to be underwater again yet. I want to check the map. Where do I even go from here? The, this isn't the end. This is just like the beginning of the, the clusterfuck. So I, I think I want to use the brain powers in here. But I'm going to have to do it here and then fly up the pipe and then le leave. That's the only way to do it, because I can't activate mind powers in the pipe. Quickly now. Quickly. I fucked it up. Wait, can I do it in the pipe? It seems like that instantly cancelled it. Oh no, I just I pressed space. That's what happened. Alright. Let's go. Jellyfish. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it worked. Okay, that was fine actually. Got some free food. It gets harder every time I die because I have less karma. That's fucked up. I'm down to, yeah, I'm down to like three less than the max at this point. It thinks I'm holding grab again. It's, it did this before. I'm not holding anything. Oh, more bubble weed. Nice. I can use that. Shelter back in the water? Oh, I'm full. Oops. Um, okay, swallow that again. I'd rather stay out of the water, if possible, until I have to. Lots of fucking fruit in here. Not holding anything at the end of everything. <laughs> yeah, I haven't learned from Night in the Woods. Who threw? Come on. Oh, fuck this. Oh, I got it right before I gave up. Yeah, this looks promising, kind of. It's a complete dead end. Never mind. Well, that doesn't help. Oh, it's not a dead end. There's an actually a, there's a gap there. I missed that. Okay. Uh, 
I've seen one of these before. Lots of bubble weed. Are these zap coils? They look kind of like zap coils. I don't think they are though. Sure, what the terrain is doing here, but I somehow got in that pipe. I'm just gonna follow whatever path doesn't mean going underwater. I think that's a really great strategy, personally. Speaking of Night in the Woods, I saw the Jello voice acted playthrough recently, and wow, you were far more sympathetic to me than they were. Uh, well, well, fuck them, I guess. I don't know who Jello are. I don't know shit about Jello. May's whole thing with that game was that she was a little shit, but was learning that other people had problems bigger than hers. And once she got that, she she could be sympathetic. She just didn't get it at first. She like literally didn't understand that about the world. I don't see any point to condemning May. Like she undergoes her little character arc and then she's better at the end, and that's basically what can be asked of anyone, I think, is to be less shitty over time and eventually figure yourself out. I'm dying. Uh, that's bad. Maybe if I go back down it'll be warm again? What is this place? The moon alarm is here. What does the alarm even mean anymore? The moon is no longer operational. Can't go that way. I deactivated the power. Shit. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Why is there a blue thing there? What is that? I really don't know what I'm doing now. Yes, it is very much getting cold. What is this area? There's an evil kelp. Can I ascend the kelp? Hang on, gotta try it. Nope, can't ascend the kelp. Going in circles. Uh, here's a news flash. That's kind of what you do in this game. Until you figure out what the right way to go is. Oh, oh, can I get there in time? Just about. Ooh, unlockable, nice. I unlocked the big jellyfish, I think. Epic. Shelter. And it's as easy as that. Okay. Warp. Oh, it crashed. Um, I hope that still means I get to rest. Why did it crash as I fell asleep? Why is that a condition for the game to crash?
It's a mod issue. The only mod I have installed is the um, slug cat customization thing. And also that was happening before I ever installed mods. Oh, no, I'm fine. I think bubble weed is expended, actually. The slug cat customization doesn't do anything to the structure of the game, though. It's literally just... It adds a menu and how it swaps you. I don't see how that could possibly cause a crash. Okay, so where do I go from here is the question. It's always the question. That's the only question in this fucking game. Why do I keep saying that? I, I, you just go. You just pick a direction and you move. That's the whole game. This is the memory complex. Which is sort of the epitome of just pick a direction type of area. It's just a bunch of identical rooms. <laughs> oh, this is uh, an area. Wait, isn't this how I got in here? I think that's how I got in. It is. Squid Kadas are still alive here too. Huh. chamber. Never got to see the gaster box again, by the way. Way back, someone said the gaster box is cool in the Saint campaign, and I have no idea what they meant by that. I might never at this rate. Maybe on the way back to the depth so I can check the gaster box next stream. What's the gaster box? It's a room in outskirts with a little box with the letter G on it. We just called it the Gaster Box on like stream one. Oh. Uh, okay. Is there anywhere else to go? That seems to go back down into where I've already been. I looped back. Ah. It's a lot of circles. He really sends you up when you jump off that tongue in here. You really just get catapulted. I'm right above Moon's puppet chamber right now. Oh. Sounds a bit strange when you put it like that. I guess I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking of all of those fucking 4chan memes about spam to this puppet hole, maybe. That's what's coming to mind. I'm cursed with that knowledge. It's 
pretty linear back at least. Um, I mean, where even was the shelter? It was up there. Uh, if I go up and then right, I get to the shelter maybe? This bubble weed is decaying passively. The other pipe in here, okay. Let's see where that goes. Bubbleweed's probably completely kaput at this point. Boneless pizza with left pipe. Oh. Can't forget the lantern. Please just drop it off the edge. There we go. Okay, delicious bubbles. Guess what? There's more. Fuck. <laughs> I want uh, enough food for a shelter at least. This seems like something. <laughs> what an interesting little zone. Uh, I see it's moving upward, which I guess that's the goal is to go to the top. People keep seeing bitter airy and that's the top. Don't touch the pop snails. Actually, fuck the pop snails. You're going to heaven now. That's weird. There is a top half of this room, but there's nothing in it. You just have to go through the pipe anyway. That's strange. Reaching heaven through violence. That's exactly what Vivek meant, or whoever the fuck said that in Morrowind. I don't know. Maybe that was the Nerevar. JD was here. He could tell us. Probably asleep or some shit, though. This area looks like it has the rot, but it must just be some something else. Barnacles. This moon never had the rot. Nerevara theory? <laughs> Fuck. I never thought of that, and I wish I hadn't. That's the slag buildup? Maybe this is what slag looks like? It happens to look a lot like rot? <laughs> Maybe because they had the assets still? Uh, I don't know. Uh, is this a dead end? I can go back to the other room. But that doesn't seem to really help. Um, I can go further this way, I guess. That's it. I sense an echo. I'm stuck in the pipe though. Oh, interesting. 
bitter airy. Okay, there's a shelter probably above, I guess. There must be a shelter somewhere. Very twisty, turny path. It smells like angry ghosts. I can smell them a mile away. It seems like a more significant title for the stream would be like Ascending Five Pebbles and Blue Bow, but that's also a spoiler, so you don't want to put that in the title. I have to uh, preemptively like guess what the stream titles are going to be, because I have to make the titles before I do the stream, so it's like what's probably going to happen this time, and then I make that the title. And sometimes it's just wrong. Um, I forget what the example was, but I think one of them was just like incorrect. I think it's a Spearmaster one, the brain acupuncture will continue. That was like, I was assuming that I spent the whole time in five pebbles, but that ended up not happening at all. Fucking scav, okay. Magic missile! That is a merchant. Well, only thing he's selling now is a uh, carry into the worms. All you had to sell anyway was a lantern. Call the next stream the die is cast for Caesar crossing the Rubicon? That's a sick reference to something I don't know what it is, but that's never stopped me before. I know the Rubicon is a reference to... I, I looked it up because of Armored Core, actually. That's what the planet that Armored Core is called, is Rubicon. Um... Yeah, it's, it's the river that Caesar crossed, and it represents a point of no return. I don't know why exactly Caesar crossed that. He's probably going to war or something. That's usually what Caesar was doing. Um, I can hear the echo noises. I must be getting closer. Did I finish Armored Core? No, I still haven't. Uh, I got a bit further, but um, only as far as the... I forget exactly what it was. I got to the ice zone. I got past the sea spider to the ice zone. Um, I played that mission where it's just like a run back, like the coral starts destroying you and you have to just run. I think that was the last one I played. I've been having trouble just keeping engaged with Armored Core for some reason. Like it's, uh, I don't know exactly what the problem is. Like nothing's, like, uh, definitively hooking me. Though I do like playing it, in general. It's cold out there. And did I ever find a shelter? Yeah, it says go down for the shelter. It's really what I need right now. Okay, well... Maybe down the other way. There it is. Okay, now we're safe. Moisture. Okay. Approaching helps your heat. But it also makes you slow. <laughs> Dub dub, nine karma. The ninth carnal urge is actually just quoting Rick and Morty. It's really specific, but the theologians couldn't think of any other answer. They just had to make that the conclusion. Wait, no way that's actually how they simulate it. Crouching makes more of your body touch the lantern so it works better? Is that not just like a radius? That seems stupid even for Rain World.
I can just fly, that's true. Okay, I'm feeling the echo coming on. It must be close. Auxiliary transmission array. Yo, pass the aux. You better not play trash. I'm just fucking ascending up here. Going yoink. I do this the old fashioned way. Iterator ball. We found a Boone's ball. <laughs> Who knows what these things actually do, but they are balls. And that's what matters. This goes up forever. Yo, it's look who it is. Such drive, such tenacity, all to come to such a lonely and forsaken place. Was it all to find me, young one, or did the idea of such a journey itself spark the fire within you? Such enthusiasm should be rewarded. What an amazing little beast you are. All you really had to say was Good job for getting here. That must have been a pain in the ass. Here's some karma. I get nothing. Congratulations. That's, this has cost the chat to say trans rates for some reason. Is that what that the echo is? It becomes a different skug, it's just like, it announces its support of transgender rights and then fucks off. I'm going to assume that's what's implied. I feel so rewarded right now. It's going to be a long fucking walk back next stream. Holy shit. Oh, I should have ascended him. But yeah, if, if apparently nothing happens. Oh, well. Oh, it's because it's the moon's ball. <laughs> Yep. I mean, it's unclear to me, as it always has been, why the iterators even have genders in the first place, but um, I'm assuming it's a personal matter and I, I didn't want to ask. Not that I was allowed to anyway. Uh, I just end the stream right now, right? Like, I should just end before it hits me with this 30 second penalty. Uh, Cause that's, that's all I had planned for today. Okay, let's look at art. It's already been 30 seconds, ah, who cares. <laughs> yes, true. SRS is a they them -erator. So it's... They, they must literally just choose, I guess. Unless the fucking... <laughs> The the city on their back signs a petition about like what gender to make the iterator. They'd be kind of fucked. Uh, let me just reboot my brain here. Look in the Arts and Crafts channel. There we go. Um... Yo, is that Kara in LSD Dream Emulator? Fucking sick. That is Rain World art. That is a saint. Okay, I can show that. Good. I know a saint when I see it, and that's a saint. Um, let's go Firefox. Boom. Yep, okay, we got a saint. Check that out. By Neb Thing. I don't have a lot of time to make fan art this stream, so take some rough draft, uh, rough art of Saint I started working on 10 minutes before the stream started. That's a very nice Saint. Looks like a frog. It's wonderful. 
the bushy tail too. Rain world art inspired by the start of Undertale. Oh, it's it's blue bow on the bed of flowers. That's a 3D render. That's really cool, actually. That one's by Tapers10. He's been doing lots of 3D renders. Oh, it's a bit of karma flowers. I just made that, I like, because I just thought it was a bit of abstract karma symbols, but it's literally a bit of karma flowers. <laughs> that's so funny, actually. Yeah, that's enough karma flowers to keep you going for a while. That's really impressive. Moon looking like a crash test dummy with a gumball head. Oh, this is a good one from Vlad here. Wow, 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 <laughs> Hey, did you know those are actually shut the fuck up? Reveal it trying to uh, red pill the saint that they're not really a vegan. <laughs> the difference in Skug anatomy here is excellent too. The rivulet's neck is like six times longer. <laughs> I like the way everyone seems to draw the Skugs differently in fan interpretations. They all have very different physiology. Uh, it's it's sort of enduring. Like that saint really just looks like a Shih Tzu. Which I, I like that interpretation of the saint personally. Just like a, a floppy carpet dog. Permanently sad looking fuzzball dog thing. Saint chooses to live in blissful ignorance. <laughs> exactly. Here is something by Caps Lock. When there's an active centipede at Baron Conduit and the scab's lantern is left unguarded. You know it. Was that in the, the drainage system when I had that whole arc trying to steal that scab's lantern? I stalked that scav for like five minutes and waited for it to get killed by a centipede that stole its stuff. Yeah, that was it. Indiana Saint. That's wonderful. Uh, we have a quick mail sketch. Freed offer. I receive good scav rep. You receive a pearl I stole from you. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was role playing a rather uh, skullduggerous version of the saint. A mischievous little gremlin. He's a pound wise penny poor. He doesn't kill people, but he does steal from them because he doesn't believe in personal property. I think that's the correct headcanon. Uh, and another, I think this is also Mel. It's, it's a saint <laughs> gorging itself on the unborn bat fly pupa. It's a very silly looking saint, holy shit. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> oh, that's another Tesla Saint. That's why it looks so fucking weird. I almost didn't recognize that it was a Tesla Saint. Yeah, this, this one is too. It's all about the stash. Looks like a grandpa. Oh, it's based on this. Of course, it would be a Toho reference if it's Mel drawing it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, is this cold? No, this is Oberon. They have all the fucking Yuri profiles that look exactly the same. Yeah, this is uh, Oberon has drawn a saint. The silly with a poil. Completely useless pearl. I love my useless pearls. Udram has made this. Okay, um, the usual task is guessing what the fuck the drawing is supposed to be. Is Half-Life? There's a flamethrower, maybe, from TF2? That's some sort of amoeba skug. Gourmand. I don't know what that is on the right. It's either two popcorn kernels or a very big spider, or maybe it's something's face. Um, and in the middle is 
I don't know. Oh, it could be a Miro spirit? That's not really what they look like. It looks like some sort of weird microbe, but it's the saint, but it's on a barbecue. And I, I can't interpret it further. That's where my, my mind bottoms out. Um, we have Wiggy is a free boy. The fucking Dobby reference. Wiggy has a sock now. <laughs> Wiggy is free. Don't worry, I'm going to hunt you down and ascend you. Then you'll be really free. That's by Lilac Weather. Uh, oh, Vlad, Vlad has drawn a shit ton for this stream, by the way. For all I know, this is just like pre-existing art that they had, but that's also fine. I like Rain World art. Live. Kill. <laughs> it's kill or be killed. Well, no, it's it's don't be killed or, or kill, apparently, are the two options. It's a very perp uh, meaningful divide, though. <laughs> you have the pro-life scugs and, well, let's just say these guys aren't pro-choice. They're pro-something else. Um, excellent art, though, of course. That's also by Vlad, as I mentioned. It's a very cool-looking artificer. Uh, the rivulet? I don't think the rivulet has any details like the torso frills in-game. That's just extrapolation. Uh... We have Vindictive Toast with the usual very cool vignette. Everyone loves it. The Crop Duster? That was the theory that the, the ancients fed the reindeer spore pods so that they shat insecticide over the farms. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. I'm eking out, says... What even is that? What was the joke again? What was the yeek joke this stream? There's always a yeek joke. Mercedes Benz! The Vinky is here. Gaster wants feet? I don't like that. Get out of here, Gaster. Get away from the feet. Um, pre Ascension Pebbles having uh, brain disease and all that. Oh, the frog. That's the yeek. That's what they look like, I guess. They, it's kind of hard to tell what the fuck they look like. They're just sort of blobs. The triple affirmative fucking T pose just melts the popcorn. Armed robbery isn't murder. Saint Grinch? I haven't seen that before. Grinch Saint. Saint Nicholas even, holy shit. Yo, yo, is this is this like a five-dimensional reference to that Red Pilot Red Sun animation, the Grinch's ultimatum? Because the, the, the ultimatum is you can be a saint or you can be a Grinch. Is that intentional or is that a, ha a happy accident? I really want to know. All right, buddy, you got two options here. You can be a saint, 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 or you can be a Grinch. Grinch, Grinch, Grinch. Eleven out of ten. If that was intentional. Want to see me do a flip? I love flips. And this is the brown saint in a vegan coma after eating bacon. That only happened in the previous stream, to be fair, but. Also, why is the saint playing an electric guitar? Is that just a reference to the noise the ascension makes, or like... I forget what this bit was. It appears to be a, a quarter rest being formed by their tongue. Triple affirmative, maybe? Oh, it's Die Anywhere Else? Maybe? Scott Pilgrim reference. Oh, Scott Pilgrim reference. I, I don't know anything about Scott Pilgrim, so I'm, I'm immune to that reference. You mean a three? It also looks kind of like a quarter rest. Why is Gaster saying feet? That fucks me up. Why is he doing that? Um, even more. 
we have a, some spoiler art for Mel. Your ass is escaping Samsara. <laughs> Ascension device. It cost $400,000 to fire this weapon for 10 seconds. That's not really a very good heavy, but whatever. It costs 400,000 karma juice. Uh, Ave met a Tercelia enthusiast. Uh, you made a shit post last week, and it seems like this stream might be the conclusion of Saint, so I'm posting it now. Hopefully, I will be awake by the time it's over. His ass has found a horrifying destiny. I don't know if that's a... Sp Could it be a spoiler for something after I ascended the iterators? I think the horrifying destiny is more or less the, uh... The, <laughs> the genocide route. That's probably what it's referring to. You haven't gotten there? Well, I don't know what it means still. It's not spoiling shit. Anyone who hasn't seen the ending also doesn't know what the fuck it means. Oh, that's good, actually. This is really good. Skeletal Bozo. Th this is uh, Everhood versus the Saint, which I don't know why Red is fighting the Saint, because as I said, they have the exact same goals in their respective games. Like, the Saint campaign literally turns into the same thing that Everhood was doing. It's the, the forced Buddhist jihad. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Uh, that's a sick piece of art, though. You do fight the Buddha in, uh... What's it called? Everhood. You literally, you, you fight the Buddha. He's just sitting there. Um, there's more. Yahig. Didn't plan on posting this, but I made it for the stream, and I have no reason not to. It's, oh, they fuck, they've assigned fucking soul colors <laughs> to the Skugs. Okay, this is like an AU of some sort. Okay, run fast means determined. Uh, sure, this is the rivulet. Friends with moon, literally Asriel. True. Um, so red soul, makes sense, perfect. Made to be able to brave danger, spearmaster, makes sense, brave, sure. On a quest for revenge, already seeking justice. Yes, checks out. Obviously, the the guy with the frying pan is the gourmand. Everyone loves it. Enemies hit you less hard because you're cute. This is the monk, I assume. Very hard to read text. Only wants to preserve its own life. Integrity core. I don't even know what one this is. The survivor. I think the survivor represents determination perfectly. If if, if anything. The self the self preservation is sort of what the determination is all about, but uh, that's fine, that's fine. Um, honestly, okay, I think rivulet should have been the blue one because the uh, in addition to the stated soul trait, the blue one is associated with uh, jumping and aerobatics, acrobatics. That is uh, literally the the ballet dancer had the blue soul, so that could have been the rivulet. I'm just saying. Um, who the fuck is this? Hunter, Perseverance, Turbo Cancer, makes sense. Saint, no similarities with Frist whatsoever. Nah, uh There's no way that a pacifist traveling through the world in a, some sort of pilgrimage could solve everyone's problems and free them from the, uh, their, their prison. Couldn't happen. Well, that one's pretty funny. The reveal is supposed to be Kara, you think? I think, well, I don't know. Why am I spending so long agonizing over this? <laughs> it's just a shit post. Oh yeah, and the, fr the Frisk literally has the same face as the Saint. That is a fair point. That is all the art, I think. I think that's it. But, Azzy Pants though. There has not been as much Azzy Pants recently. Um, actually, what I'm going to do here... Oh wait, can you search in threads? Does Discord let you do that? And I don't think it does, oh dear. Okay, it's going to be a real problem if I can't search in the Azzy Pants thread, because there's been like a shit ton of posting, and all of the actual images are going to be buried now. 
to an extent that I don't really want to go back. Like, there's, there's, there's so much activity. Okay, there's one that's pretty early on, though, at least. We have a, a Lizzie, Lizzie art from, from Pidge here. Very nice. Personally, I wanted to see Asriel and Pizza Pants kissing. That's a reference to something. I forget. Excellent looking art, though. I like that. Okay, I'll scroll up for a while and see if I can find anything. Just a wee bit, but I may miss some stuff. Take all shit posts 100% seriously. It is the way out of samsara. Well, that makes sense to me. I thought there was at least one other piece of art, but I can't remember exactly what it was. Neurom. Pidge linked some for the stream. Where? Where did they link it? Recently? I'll check the bottom again. Oh, here it is. Uh, oh, right, here was another one. A, a Nikaizo sketch of Lizzie. Uh, we got lots of Lizzie art this time. Lizzie the Azzy Pants Girl. A very wonderful rendered uh, illustration, actually. Not a sketch. Oh, and the Burger Pants' ass sketch that I didn't show last week, and so they got mad at me. Um... It's Burger Pants' ass. They win. They win. I showed it on stream. Are you all happy now? Mel drew that. It's Burger Pants' ass. All right. Well, we're ending on that note. Yeah, he's thick. I know. I know he's thick. <laughs> we have been advised to not link the other three Burger Pants' ass images drawn in anger. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um... Okay, that's the stream. We ascended to gods and we showed Burger Pants' his ass. And um, I'm sleeping and hungry now and I'd like to stop streaming. Okay, so I'll see you next week. We're, we're going to finish Rain World semi-permanently. It'll be glorious. Um, and if anyone... I don't... I should check on actually right before I go. Check if the speedrun tournament's still going. It seems to be. It's, it's just a... Burger minus and time loss. The the two top runners are just locked in a perpetual struggle at this point. I'm not sure who else joined throughout the day, but it's um wait timeless just left. Never mind. They might have been winding down, but we got kind of confirmation that the sub six was reached, which was sort of the goal. So congratulations to Timeless for the world's first sub six minute. All right, for realsies, the stream is over. Thank you all for coming and goodbye. Oh yeah, and I've seen Pebbles Ultimatum. I've seen that. It's pretty good. <laughs>